barrier, invisible barrier, physical barrier in your life this morning. Say, Father, as I've come before you right now in the month of June, every barrier, invisible barrier that the enemy has placed before me and my blessings, before me and my services in your house, oh God, I pray this morning, let them be clear off. Let them be clear off in the name of Jesus. Begin to welcome his presence this morning in our service. Say, Father, I welcome your almighty presence. Let your presence again be felt in our midst as a church and as an individual in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take charge this morning. Blessed be your name. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Now lift your hands in appreciation, thanking him some more. Blessing his holy name. Our Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Let the church shout a believing amen. Let that amen be the loudest amen. amen. Be reminded again that testimonies are part of the service. If you have your testimony to share to the glory of God, please walk to the honor entrance. Meet any of the pastors or the ministers. Your testimony will be documented and the chance and the privilege will be given unto you to share them to the glory of God. With the joy of Jesus in your heart, put your hands together for the Lord as we welcome our ever winning choir. Hallelujah. 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 It's a good thing to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. Let's wave our hands to Jesus and appreciate his support. My heart is full of gratitude. Yeah. Lord, I'm here only by your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for not giving up on me.
God, a big, 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 big hand clap, and please take your seats shortly in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, I'm finally on the covenant of life, and so am I in the name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of God and our resident pastor, I welcome you to our covenant day of breaking invisible barrier service, which also double as our prophetic entrance service. You are highly welcome in Jesus' name. This morning, our call to worship is taken from Psalm 27, the verse 1 to 9. Psalm 27, the verse 1 to 9. Verse 1. He said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Though, though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in, in this will I be confident. Verse 4. Verse 5, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon, he shall set me up upon the rock. Verse 6. Verse 7, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. Verse 8. Verse 9, together, I want to go. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. You are highly welcome in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is announcement time. Shall we pay attention to the following announcement? Good news. Believers, Foundation School holds immediately after each service. All new converts and new members are admonished to take advantage of this very important platform for our spiritual empowerment that will result in victorious living. Another good news. Water baptism holds every Saturday. This is important for our new convert and every single member yet to be baptized by immersion since they became genuinely saved. Remember, Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16, 16. The time is 9 a.m. Remember to come with a change of raiment. Good news. The Kingdom Advancement Prayer Squad, also known as Challenger Squads, Challenger Squads weekly congregational prayer meeting holds every Monday. 
from 5 to 6.30 p.m. at the church premise. Our 24-hour kingdom advancement prayer chain anchors, anchored on Isaiah 62, 6 to 7, also continues every day via the Challenger Squad WhatsApp platform. Members are encouraged to engage just an hour daily for guaranteed and continuous all-round breakthrough according to Matthew 6, 6. Praise the Lord. Covenant Hour of Prayer holds tomorrow Monday through to Saturday. Please, let's take advantage of this platform to receive empowerment for daily victories. The time is 6 to 7 a.m. Our midweek communion service holds this Wednesday, the 7th of June, 2023. We shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast and come together to break our fast with the communion. The time, 5.30 p.m. Winners Satellite Fellowship. Our House to House Fellowship holds this Saturday at our WSF centers. Don't miss it for anything. The time is 5 to 6 p.m. Good news. Next Sunday shall be the second in the series of our covenant day of all-round breakthrough. Put your hands together for the Lord. It shall also double as a monthly communion service. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come with your family, friends, and new convert, expecting definite encounters with the word and the communion table. The first service, as usual, is 6 a.m., the second, 8 a.m., and the third, 10 a.m. Heaven's Storehouse. Please note that ministering to the needs of the challenged brethren is not a seasonal thing. It is a continuous operation. Opportunity are bound to bring in food items, including material. That is good cloth for continuous distribution. Those who want to give cash should mark such offerings as welfare offerings. End of the announcement, Jesus is Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. To take us further in this morning's service, it is testimony time. The Bible speaking from Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10b, it says, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Please listen to this documented testimony and you shall be blessed. Number one testimony says 50 years marital, is it 50 years of marital spells broken? I thought somebody would be clapping unto the Lord. The testifier says, some years ago, my elder sister invited me to this commission. Meanwhile, we believe God for marital breakthrough in my family. When my elder sister was 10 years old, a man came to ask for a hand in marriage. At first, my father thought it was a joke. But four years later, the man came back again and asked for my elder sister's hands in marriage. My father refused the man's proposal and said my sister would like to go to school. Eventually, he placed a course on my family, which I did not know about until after years. Then, when my sisters were ready for marriage, suitors were not forthcoming. Then, I came to the altar with my elder sister to pray, and each time we prayed, we used the word of God. Today, over 50 years of marital spell has been broken. I had my traditional wedding. If you are clapping, please do it better, louder unto the Lord. I had my traditional wedding. I had my traditional wedding and white wedding, which no one in my family has ever done before. I give God all the glory for breaking the cause in my family. And the testifier is Idora N. The second testimony says, 14 years barrenness terminated. The testifier, please, if you are clapping, do it better, louder unto the Lord. The testifier says, I joined this commission in 1995. And for 14 years, we trusted God for the fruit of the womb. While we are waiting on God, we keep embarking on outreach and keeping serving God. At some point, we left our prayers. At some point, we left our prayers and start praying kingdom advancement prayer and develop ourselves in different careers. 
On 7th March 2021, we decided to attend the fourth service, which was a month, which was a miracle service. For the first time during the service, Bishop David Odepo looked in our direction and said, the Lord has given you what you came here for today. We received and believe it. And that came, and that became the beginning of our miracle. In April, I got pregnant and retarded the dummy devil came to steal our joy as I started. Hallelujah. As I started bleeding in the night. But it came late. From then on, I took the anointing oil and the communion every day throughout the pregnancy. The ple throughout the pregnancy. The pregnancy was glorious and the delivery was seamless. However, the devil came again. He tried to take my life, but the God of my father rescued me. Today, we have our evidence of good report after four failure IVF, one miscarriage and horrible medical procedure. God blessed us with a set of twins, two girls. Do it better, louder unto the Lord. God blessed us with the set of twins, two girls. We return all the glory to God. And the testifier is Mr. and Mrs. Oluwa Tosin. These are the act of the Lord in our midst. In your seated position, lift up your right hands unto heaven. Let's appreciate this God, for he is the doer of all this miracle. And you shall be next in line to testify. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Bigger yet and better for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. To take us further this morning, please pay attention to this epistle from God's servant, the apostle for this commission, declaring midst of the year season of glory 2023. <laughs> Covenant Highway greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We serve the God of times and seasons who made all things beautiful in his time. God's word usually defines the time and season of life as it relates to us both as a church and as individuals. We discover from scriptures that the midst of the year is ordained a season of spiritual awakening in God's agenda as it is written, revive the works in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known your power. Habakkuk chapter 3, 1 to 3 and verse 6. However, according to the book of Haggai, the spirit of God's people was stirred up in the midst of June to begin to engage in the work of the Lord as a priority. And the outcome was an outbreak of earth-shaking revival in the month of July, ordained to make the glory of the latter house greater than the former. The two months of June and July constitute the midst of the year, with five months on either side of the divide. Therefore, the midst of the year is a season of revival, which connotes, amongst others, a season of glory, a season of consecration, a season of fervent engagement on the prayer altar, a season of passionate pursuit of the souls or the salvation of souls, a season of supernatural church growth. But what must we do differently to actualize the blessedness of this season of glory? We must enter into a covenant of sacrificial dimension of stewardship. We must define a new schedule of engagement on the prayer altar. We must define our outreach schedule for this season. We must seek kingdom advancement partnership from amongst church members, from among our service groups, neighborhood, WSF membership, business contacts, etc. What is the big deal about serving God and the interests of his kingdom? It is the gateway to all-round fulfillment in life. It is our access to the topmost top in our walk with God. It secures God's presence that will always make the difference. In addition to, that, to diverse other blessings, we reap life everlasting through the investment of our time, 
energy, and resources in kingdom advancement endeavors. Therefore, by the prompting of the Holy Spirit, between Monday, June 5th, and Sunday, July 30th, 2023, we shall be embarking on extensive and innovative kingdom advancement endeavors aimed at reaping great harvest into the kingdom and massive ingathering of souls into our various churches. This shall include, among others, church-based outreaches across various segments of our, our harvest field, crusades as may be applicable from place to place, prayer and soul winning partnership engagement, and many more. I believe everyone that engages his or her heart in this work shall return with testimonies of supernatural change of story, and many among us shall be turned into testimonials as God continues to reward everyone openly according to his labor. Welcome to this prophetic mist of the year, your season of glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. We may ever bless Jesus' is Lord, Bishop David O. Oyedipo. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Praise God. Taking a nest in this service, it is of right time. The Bible speaking in Genesis chapter 4, verse 4, they say, And Abel also brought of the first link of his flock, and the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering. God will honor your offering this morning. Amen. Quickly package your offering and whatever kingdom investment you have come with this morning. And get set to offer your offerings unto the Lord. If you are done, please rise up on your feet. Lift those offerings up this morning and begin to decree your blessings upon them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, lift them up. Begin to decree upon it. I'm given and it shall come back in multiple forms. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift them up high this morning. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus we commend this offerings into your hand. As we give, we expect multiple form in return. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree this hand that I lift up. They shall never know financial lockdown in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody believe, shout the Lord as amen. Please quickly have your seat and as we welcome the choir to lead us. Hallelujah. Indeed, it's going to be our season of glory. Hallelujah.
Come on, let's go. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. We serve a God who does much more than we could ever imagine. Whatever happens, is working. It's running in the run right now. You are God enough to take what the enemy meant for evil. And Tony, you are God enough to take what the enemy meant for evil. Watch him turn it. Watch him turn it for my good. Watch him turn it. Watch him turn it for my good. Stand still. Stand still. Watch him turn it for my good. Stand still. Stand still. Watch him turn it for my good. He's walking for my good. Everybody says he's turning it around. Yeah. He's walking for my good. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. Everybody says he's walking for my good. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's walking for my good. He's walking for my good. Oh, he's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's walking for my good. He's turning it around. Turn it around. He's walking for my good. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's walking for my good. He's walking for my good. Yeah, yeah, he's walking for my good. He's walking for my good. Say, turn it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's working for my good. 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 Say he's turning around. He's turning around. He has turned it around. He's turning it around. He's working for my good. 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 You are God enough to take what the enemy meant for evil. And Tony, you are. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is turning everything around for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why don't you lift your hands? Just worship him this morning. I appreciate him for the privilege we have to be in his presence. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. There is no one like him. He's done us so well. Let's appreciate him for bringing us the first Sunday in the month of June and bringing us to another midst of the year revival season. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just appreciate him now. Exalt his name. Marianda Bariata Katabaya E Poko Kato Kate Ali Andaba Ze Poko Kato Thank you, Mary God. Take all the praise. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mary God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now begin to ask him to send his word. It's the beginning of a new season. A season of revival. 
Tell him right now, Lord, send your word my way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lari akataba ya nderebozi ya kukatu. Kaku kataba ya. Zamuru kati ya nderebozi ya kukatu. Kapuku kati anda. Ali akataba ya anda kaku wakaza si. Take all the praise. Jesus mighty name we have prayed. First Chronicles 12.32 before we take our seat. Our God is a God of times and seasons. Glory to God. And if you check through the Bible, you see references being made to dates, times, seasons. Praise the living Jesus. The Holy Ghost was not poured until the day of Pentecost was fully come. Praise God. The Passover that happened in the time of Moses is still being referenced now. So God is a God of times and seasons. God does not just do things. He does them at specific times and seasons. Praise the living Jesus. And he makes all things beautiful in his time. Now, what prayer are you praying now? Because it is one thing for a season to be on. It's another thing to drink into that season and take advantage of it. Glory to God. You know, mango seeds, mango fruit, it has a season that it comes. Do I have a witness in the house? Especially those days, go to the farm to pluck mangoes. If you are not aware of the season, you will lose your harvest of mangoes. Others will be going there and be bringing mango every day. Praise God. But you won't be able to pluck any mango because you are not aware of the season. We are going to pray with this scripture. First Chronicles 12, 32. He said, And the children of Isaacar, or Isaacar, which were men that had understanding of times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Glory to God. They were in charge because they understood times and season. Amen. We have entered into another midst of the year revival season. Praise God. It's in the Bible. Amen. Habakkuk 32, revive thy works in the midst of the year. What is the midst of the year? There are 12 months in a year. Is that not so? And uh, in mathematics, we were taught, if you want, the, you want to know the median, the one at the center, <laughs> praise God, out of an even number, what do you do? You take the two middle and find the average. Praise God. Is somebody hear him now? There are 12 months in a year. So the median is May, uh, June, and July put together. Is somebody hearing me now? Are we together? So the 61 days that make June and July, there are 61 days. Praise God. That's what form the midst of the year. Praise the living Jesus. And this commission have plugged into it for years now with all manner of testimonies. May this season be your own season. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to pray, Lord, open my eyes to understand the season we are in and engrace me to make the most of it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer right now. I want to be in charge. I want to be on top of life situations and circumstances. Open my eyes. Give me understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help me to make the most of this season. This midst of the year revival season that I've been read to us earlier. Lord, help me to make the most of this season in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this season catapult me to the next levels of my life. Let this season move me up to my high places in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, breathe upon your word right now and give us understanding. Unveil to us this season and grant every one of us unforgettable encounters that will result in our continuous change of levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mary God. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. And please be seated. Praise the Lord. And finally, on the covenant way of life. Congratulations. The prophetic focus of the month of June, as we began seeing it from Wednesday, is a season of glory. Can we echo it together? Yes, a season of glory. Daniel 12, 3. They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as stars forever and ever. It's our time to shine. Say amen. It's our time to reign. It's time for the glory of the Lord to be seen upon our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that will happen as we engage with the Lord. As they turn many to righteousness. Glory to God. Therefore, grace is coming upon you and I. In this service, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are looking at the teaching series for our Sunday services. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. We are in a revival as a church, as a ministry, and as a church. Even by privilege, as a local assembly, we are in a revival. Glory to God. Glory to God. When a revival, a revival time is time when God's people begin to pant after God. Their hearts pant after God. We launch a prayer platform less than a month now. We have 420 people on that platform now. Praise the living Jesus. You can clap for Jesus better. He's the one stirring up his people. We are in a revival as a church with people praying and logging in around the clock on daily basis. A revival is a move of God among his people. It's all about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon God's people for their transformation and to do exploits. A revival is a move of God, a move of the Spirit of God among his people. It is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon God's people for their transformation and for them to do exploits. For our transformation and for us to do exploits. In Joel chapter 2, from 23, he said, Be glad, then, ye children of Zion. And rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. That's the anointing. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dead wondrously with you. Say amen. amen. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward, I will pour out my spirit. That's the implication of all he's saying. Upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams, 
your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmen in those days will I pour out my spirit. Glory to God. A revival is a move of God. It's all about the outpouring of the spirit of God upon his people to bring about their transformation. They are changed. Glory to God. They are quickened back to life. Glory to God. They are revived. They are brought back to life. So they can reign in life and do exploits. Glory to God. Because only revived Christians can operate the way they should operate as Christians. Only revived Christians can reign in life. Only revived Christians can do exploits. Praise God. This hand shall follow them that believe in my name. They will cast out devils. Do all manner of wonders. That is when they are alive. When they are alive spiritually. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that your spiritual life will come alive. Amen. This season, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are in a revival as a ministry and as a church. As a local assembly. But we must stay spiritually sensitive and spiritually awake to make the most of this revival season as individuals. We must stay spiritually awake and spiritually sensitive to make the most of this season as individuals. Amen. Habakkuk 3.2 he says, he said, O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the year, make known. In rough, remember mercy. Revive thy works in the midst of the year. You know, Jacob said in Genesis 28, 16 to 17, Oh, the Lord was in this place and I knew it not. You can be in the midst of a revival and not know. Amen. The Lord was in this place and I knew it not. Ananias and Sapphira, they were in the midst of revival. But they still toyed with fire. They were playing carnality. In the midst of revival. So the fire burnt them. And they were destroyed. Act chapter 5. The Lord is here. And I knew it not. But the good thing is that he had a second chance. In Genesis 32, 24. You know, that other time was when he was going on his journey. But when he was returning, he had better understanding. Jacob was left alone. Amen. He was left alone. He, he separated himself from the wife and the children, the maids, all of them. And he stayed with God. Praise God. Is somebody hearing now? This time around, there was no, no chance for any carelessness. Glory to God. And he had encounter. We can never be forgotten. Where his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. He said, what's your name? My name is Jacob. Oh, that's part of your challenge. Amen. He said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God and with man, and you have prevailed. Amen. May you prevail in this revival season. May you be repositioned by the Holy Spirit to make the most of this revival season. May your spiritual life come alive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May every oppression of your life come to an end. Yeah. When you hear people talking about eating the dream and um, molestation of spirit husband, spirit wife, and many things and all those things, those are harassments of forces of darkness. Glory to God. And that, most of the time, is an indication that your light is becoming dim. Your spiritual light is becoming dim. Praise God. When you go down spiritually, 
they take over. But in the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming alive spiritually now. Amen. This midst of the year season shall be your best season so far. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But very quickly, what is a revival? What is a revival? Because what you cannot define, you cannot grab. If you are looking for something, you need to know the thing. What you can't define, what you can't describe, you can't grab. When it comes, you don't even know. What is a revival? Number one, a revival is a platform for divine visitation ordained for our supernatural change of story. A revival is a platform for divine visitation ordained for a supernatural change of story. Habakkuk 3.2. He said, in the midst of the year, revive thy works. Then see verse 6. He said, he stood and measured the earth and beheld, and beheld. He beheld and drove asunder the nations and the everlasting mountains were scattered. And the perpetual hills did bow. These are long standing issues, concerns, and challenges. They are overturned, they are leveled, they are destroyed in time of divine visitation. Praise God. It's a platform of what? Divine visitation for a supernatural change of story. When Jesus came, a man that had been impotent in his feet for 38 years by the pool of Bethesda, 38 years. That's what we call perpetual mountain. Praise God. Everlasting hill. They were leveled. Praise God. This man received his healing. Glory to God. I don't know how long that challenge might have been. In this season of revival, you shall be visited. Amen. For you, there shall be supernatural change of story. Because Sephaniah 3, 17 to 20, he said, The Lord thy God, in the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over you with singing. He said, I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly, who are of thee, that is, they are part of you, but they are sorrowful. They are not satisfied to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. Say, do it, Lord. I will afflict all that afflict thee. I will save her that hurted, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Say, do it, Lord. And verse 20. At that time, I will bring you again. And even in the time that I gather you, I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, said the Lord. Glory to God. So it is a time of divine visitation for supernatural change of story. Glory to God. Every issue of shame and reproach in anyone's life here in this midst of the year season, all shall be converted to testimony. Amen. Everything that makes people to ask, where is your God? That is, that thing that is happening around you does not look like what, hap what should happen to a, a Christian or a believer. I see them, God, wiping all of them off Amen. and changing your story from shame to glory, Amen. from reproach to glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is a revival? Number two. A revival is a spiritual awakening that causes the giant in us to rise. It's a spiritual awakening that causes the giant in us to rise. When you are revived, the giant in you as a 
child of God comes alive. The real you comes alive. Glory to God. There is a very great picture in Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. That's talking about the value of the dry bones. It was a picture of a revival. Our pouring of the Spirit of God through the ministry of the prophet. Praise God. God's hand was upon the prophet, and God took his prophet Ezekiel to that valley of dry bones. And the Bible says the bones were very dry. And Ezekiel asked him, or, or, or God asked Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live? God wanted to make them live, but man must play his part. Praise God. He said, Lord, you know all things. If you want them to live, they will live. Praise God. If you don't want them to live, it's up to you. Then God said, I want them to live. But you now, son of man, prophet high. You decree that it will happen. Praise God. Then you see, he began to declare as God was speaking to him. Bones came to bone. Flesh came upon the bones. Praise God. Sinews, all of them were laid. And then he asked him to call for the breath of the Holy Spirit. That's the power of God. The power of revival. Praise God. The spirit behind all revivals came upon that slain. And the Bible says, there arose from that valley an exceeding great army. Praise God. Exceeding what? So, in time of revival, the giant in us come alive. Is somebody hearing me now? So, power and forces of darkness that used to molest can no longer molest us. Is somebody hearing me now? Because most of the time, we operate below our identity or our real worth in Christ. Praise God. Is somebody hearing me now? But when we are revived, we op operate at, at optimal level. Praise the living Jesus. You are alive. You are in command. You are in charge. Praise God. I see the giant in you coming alive now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 30, 21. Talking about the season of revival. Now if you read from verse 19, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, they will not be few. I will glorify them, they will not be small. Their children shall be mighty. And verse 21, he said, they are nobles. They are nobles. Shall be of themselves. That is, from among them, noble men and women shall arise. And their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. Praise God. Why? These are people that have chosen to seek me with all their heart in time of revival. Praise God. They are drawing closer to God. They carry him. Because the greatest blessing of a revival time is that you carry God himself. You know he said in James 4, 8, draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. The time of revival is a time when God makes himself known to people. You draw near unto him, he draws near unto you. Praise God. So you come alive spiritually. And you normally hear that one with God is a majority. Is that not so? You can't carry God and not be a giant anywhere in the universe. Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the giant in you coming alive this season. Amen. You will never be a victim of oppression again Amen. by dwarf devils. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, proofs of a revival. What are the proofs of a revival? A revival is said to occur when, number one, the heart of man 
begin to pant after God. A revival is said to occur when the heart of man begins to pant after God and the interest of his kingdom. Amen. Pant after God and the interest of his kingdom. Psalm 42. One and two. As the, as the heart panted after the water brooks, so panted my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before my God? Amen. Proof of a revival is your heart begin to pant after God, begin to yearn after God. Praise the living Jesus. James 4, 8. Draw near unto him, and he will draw near unto you. You begin to seek after God. Praise the living Jesus. One of the meetings people don't come for is prayer meeting. People don't come for prayer meeting. Amen. On our prayer platform before, on Challenger Squad, Kingdom of Heaven Prayer Squad platform, we were 39 on that platform. 39. Glory to God. But we launched a 24-hour online prayer platform where members log in to pray one hour daily. Just one hour. The prayer points are eight prayer points and they are kingdom advancement-based prayers. Webbing of the Church of Christ, our webbing as members, new converts, salvation of souls. Glory to God. Are we getting now? We also pray for the nation. So we are commanded to pray for our nation. Praise the living Jesus. Eight prayer points. After that, you can do personal supplication of five minutes. And within two days, we have had over 200 people added to that platform. Praise God. Over 200. Now, as of this morning, we have 420 with people engaging. Is somebody hearing now? That is, people's hearts are panting after God. People's heart are yearning for God. They want to please Him. Praise God. They want to seek Him with all manner of testimonies coming forth of transformation, change of stories. In the name of Jesus Christ, this season shall be your own season. Amen. Season of blessings. Amen. Season of transformation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 6 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. All these things shall be what? Added unto you. When people begin to seek God and the affairs of his kingdom as a lifestyle, as a priority, praise God. Number two, proof of a revival. When walking in the fear of God becomes our new way of life. Walking in the fear of God becomes what? Our new way of life. When people come to seek the Lord, come to confess, come for counseling, for prayers, to break evil habits, not to ask for breakthrough or miracle job. It's not wrong to ask for those things. But most of the time, people pay attention on those things. They don't pay attention on their spiritual well-being. But if it is spiritually well with us, it will be well with us in every area. Glory to God. That's the foundation. But when people begin to run after God, seeking to please God, walking in the fear of God as a lifestyle, it means you are already in a revival. Amen. Are you with me? But when what you do does not matter, you may be going, coming to church, attending services as a religious person, but your conduct, your way of life, you, you don't care whether you hurt God or not. You are not in a revival. Praise God. You are just in religion. You are not in reality. You know, Joseph said, Genesis 39 verse 9, how can I do this evil and sin against God? He was conscious of God. Those were not religious people. They were real people. Glory to God. Real people. He was in touch with God. Genesis 39 verse 9. 
How can I do this wickedness and sin against God? Genesis 42, 18. He said, but I fear God. Do this and live. For I fear God. I fear God. May fresh baptism of the fear of God be your portion right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah 32, 39 and 40. Jeremiah 32, 39 and 40. He said, I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever. For the good of them, that is for their own good, and the good of their children after them. Verse 40. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their heart that they shall not depart from me. Praise God. People begin to walk in the fear of God as a lifestyle. God matters to them. Not just to them, matters most. Praise God. Psalm 112, verse 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord and that delight greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Earth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endured forever. That man that fears the Lord is a blessed man. Glory to God. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His seed are also blessed and mighty upon the earth. Glory to God. May the fear of God become your identity from now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, we have seen what a revival is and the proofs of a revival. What is in a revival for us? What is in a revival for us? What is in a revival for us? What are the blessings? You know, the topic is understanding the blessedness of a revival. What is in a revival for us? Thank you, Jesus. Number one, Every revival is a spiritual launching pad to our high places. Every revival is a spiritual launching pad to our high places. Habakkuk 3.2 In the midst of the year, revive thy work. In the midst of the year is a season of revival. And see the same Habakkuk. Verse 17. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, the fruit is not in the vine, the labor of the olive shall fail, the fish shall yield no meat, the flock shall be cut off from the fold, there shall be no head in the stalls. That is, things don't look like the way they should. He said, yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Studio, please read what you have put on the screen. You follow us. Go to verse 18. We are now on verse 18. Yet, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like what? Hind's feet. And he will make me to begin to walk upon my high places. Glory to God. It's a time when we are launched into our high places in life. That's why since 2015, when God spoke to our Father, I, the God of wonder, double, is visiting you. This church has been a revival from the beginning. Glory to God. From the beginning, the fire has never gone out. But in 2015, the year changed. Praise God. And then the ministry began to ride in its high places. Praise the living Jesus. The church doubled. Says doubled. Number of countries we have entered doubled. Everything doubled. Praise the living Jesus. Up to now, we, can't, we have not recovered. We can't recover from the glory, from the lifting that came from that divine visitation. And the good news is that God told our Father 
I'm in your midst as long as you want. Praise God. I'm in your midst as long as you want. That's why you see, we always have operation upon operation here. Is somebody hearing me now? Because most of the churches that became spiritually dead, they went on break. They went what? They went on break. The major assignment of the New Testament church is to win souls and get them established. Praise God. And prepare them for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is somebody hearing me now? First, they should reign on earth while they are also waiting for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is somebody hearing me now? That's what we call saving them and discipling them. That's the work of the church. Glory to God. Any church that goes on break on that assignment will soon go down. May no church of God go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. So that's why here we don't go on spiritual holiday. Praise the living Jesus. It's from one operation to another. Always engaging for Jesus. You saw even as we ended our operation in April. Since that time till now, there is no Sunday you came here without receiving some materials. Glory to God. To reach out to souls. Your neighbors, your friends. And there is no Sunday we don't have first time worshippers and new convert to the glory of his name. Can we clap for Jesus? Whether last Sunday or upper Sunday, we had 35 first timers. Glory to God. And it was not any special operation. Praise the living Jesus. Is somebody hearing me now? Because the church of Christ is ordained for continuous growth. There are multitudes out there that are yet to be saved. Amen. Some are religious. They go to church. But they don't have any personal relationship with Christ. So Satan is still dominating them, oppressing them, as if they are not connected to God at all. Glory to God. But in the name of Jesus Christ, in this season again, God will give us souls that will be rescued, that will be harvested, and you will be fruitful. I said you will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So in time of revival, we are charged to take charge. We are charged to what? Take charge. Number two, what's in the revival for us? Supernatural restoration of our redemptive dignity. Supernatural restoration of our redemptive dignity. If you see that Joel 2, 23 to 27 that we read, he said he will pour his spirit that former rain and latter rain is talking about the spirit of God. Joel chapter 2, 23 to 27. And he said, my people shall never be ashamed. I will restore to you the year, if you start from 25, the year the cap, uh, palmer worm caterpillar have eaten. And my people shall never be ashamed. He repeated it twice there. My people shall never be ashamed. Hear this. As the Spirit of God come upon you afresh in this season of revival, every shame or, or, and reproach in your life shall be destroyed. Amen. Shall be terminated. Amen. You know, God is known as the King of glory. Do you agree? Anywhere God is, there can be shame and reproach there. No wonder Jesus' mother told him he was in a wedding. They were together in a wedding. And he said, they don't have wine. Wine is finished. That's reproach is coming. Shame is coming. Glory to God. The woman ran to Jesus because he knew Jesus could not be there. And shame and reproach will happen there. Amen. Do you belong to Christ? In the name of Jesus Christ, every issue of shame and reproach in your life come to an end this season. By the appointment of the Holy Spirit, your redemptive dignity shall be fully restored. Amen. That is, you take your place in Christ. Glory to God. You take your place in Christ. You reign in life. Romans 5.17 We have been redeemed to reign in life. Praise the living Jesus. To reign in life by Christ Jesus. Revelation 5.10 
He has made us priests and kings, and we, should, we are ordained to reign on the earth. Number three, what's in the revival for us? Express answers to prayers. Express answers to prayers. Because in time of revival, we are closest to God like never. In time of revival. Psalm 145 verse 18. He said, the Lord is near to them that call upon him, to them that call upon him in truth. Psalm 145 verse 18. Draw near unto him, and he will draw near unto you. James 4 8. We are closest to God in time of revival. That's why you see, when we have our Bible school, out of a Bible Institute, we gather the students. It's a boot camp for two weeks, concentrated teaching and learning for just 10 days. And within those 10 days, you see all manner of testimonies. Glory to God. Why? You become closer to God like never before in life. Your dreams are full of encounters. The breeze that blows over you is the breath of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Everywhere you turn, you encounter God. Your thoughts are sanctified. Glory to God. Is somebody hearing me now? Your encounters become divine. They become encounters of victory and dominion. Praise the living Jesus. Is somebody hearing me now? Because God is closer to you or closest to you than ever. And in John 15, 16, because revival season is the time when we go after souls. He said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I have ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. And that your fruit should remain. So that whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Time of revival is time of express answer to prayer. Express answer to prayer. I have come to understand this. If you, will not, if you are not going to be sure that God will answer any prayer, not kingdom prayer. Are you with me? Not what? Not kingdom prayer. If you doubt your prayers, whether they will not be answered. Are you hearing me now? You can't doubt kingdom prayer. You can't pray any prayer for the kingdom with understanding, believing, and God will not do it. He will always do it. Glory to God. So wise people Tie their own personal prayer to kingdom prayer. Smart people wrap up their prayer with kingdom prayers. Praise God. Is somebody hearing now? That's why here we start. We pray a man of prayer for the kingdom. And after we have done that, glory to God. We spend just little time to ask our own thing. And they are done. Praise God. Because you are not only qualified for answers when you pray for when you pray my prayer, you are also qualified for rewards. For what? Matthew 6. Say, so when you pray, enter your closet. You, when you want to pray, enter your closet and pray. Shut your door. And your heavenly Father will see it in secret shall reward you openly. Glory to God. And actually, the reward of a prayer Cover any other thing you may ask. But we only give room for us to ask. Just in case some of those things look urgent to us, we ask them. Because asking helps our faith. Praise God. Is somebody help now? It helps our faith. It helps our confidence in God. Jesus said, Peter, Peter, Satan wants you. He wants to sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you. And he now said, when you are converted. So, he prayed. His confidence was intact that he will be converted because he had prayed. Praise God. Is somebody hearing now? Prayer enhances our level of confidence in God and moves him into action to perform. Express answer to prayers. We saw in the time of revival, Acts chapter 12, 5 to 13. 
when Peter was arrested by Herod and put in prison and the church prayed for him. The answer came so fast that the church didn't believe in the answer of their prayer. Praise God. Is somebody here now? Quickly, as they prayed, an angel went to dispatch him to release him. But people said, no, 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 this is not Peter. <laughs> Praise God. It's too early. Maybe the angels were supposed to still be carrying the prayer to heaven and returning back with answers after some days. Praise God. Meanwhile, the answer was there. Praise the living Jesus. Because in time of revival, God hears us speedily. This season, God will hear your prayer. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You, a number of us grew up from religious background where once in a year or at certain seasons, they invite, they invite revivalists. Can you remember? Uh -huh. Praise God. When they come, you see salvation of soul. You see healing and deliverances. You see wonders. Is somebody hearing now? Uh, this is that season of revival. And the truth is this. As a ministry, we are since inception, this ministry has been a revival and remains in revival. Praise God. People get testimony in this commission every day. Amen. So in your life from now, you will never be out of revival. Amen. May you remain in revival for life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your right hand. Say, Lord Jesus, I choose to be a full partaker of this season of revival. So help me, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today doubles as our breaking invisible barrier service. Glory to God. Invisible barriers are real. Invisible barriers, they are real. They are the works of the devil ordained to hinder us to resist our progress. Please understand this. Don't have the mentality that I didn't do anybody any evil. Nobody will do me any evil. That's not scriptural. That's ignorance. Are you with me? They are not doing evil to you because you offended them. They do evil to us because they are wicked. Wickedness is a nature. Just that love is the nature of God. Wickedness is the nature of the devil. First John 5, 19. He said, we know that we are of God. But the whole world lies in wickedness. Say me wickedness. The whole world lies in what? Wickedness. Praise God. We know that we are of God, but the whole world lies in wickedness. Mm. First Corinthians 16.9 A great and effectual door is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. There are what? Many adversaries. Praise God. Jesus said in Matthew 16.18 I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. That means they will try. They will do what? They will try. Amen. If they will try church, then weak destiny will they not try? Hmm? If they will try church, weak business or career or shop or company or corporation, will they not try? Praise God. Don't be deceived. The, world, the whole world lies in wickedness. Praise God. Is somebody hearing now? In Numbers 22, 5 and 6, the Israelites were going on their journey gently, moving to the promised land. Then, the king of the Moabites 
he sent for Balaam. The name of that king was Balak. He sent for Balaam. Uh, he said, I heard of a people, they came out of Israel. Uh, they came out of Egypt. They are very great and mighty people. Amen. He said, I want you to curse them for me so as to stop their progress. Curse them so as to hinder them from going forward. Because these people, they are too great for me. Amen. They were on their own journey. All these things were happening in the realm of the spirit. The people physically did not know what was happening. That's how many things happen behind us. Especially when you are not spiritually alive. But in the name of Jesus Christ, as you take your place in the realm of the spirit, you take charge. Amen. You will be in charge. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. He sent message. Let's read it. Numbers 22, 5 and 6. He sent messenger therefore unto Balaam, the son of Beor, Beor to Peter, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people that come out of Egypt. They cover, behold, they cover the face of their. Can you say exaggeration? And they didn't cover your country. His country was not part of the earth. Amen. Behold, they cover the, the face of the earth. And they abide over against me. Lie. Glory to God. Come now, therefore, I pray thee. Curse me, these people, for they are too mighty for me. Paraventure I shall prevail. That we might smite them and that I may drive them out of the land. For I heard that whosoever you bless is blessed, whosoever you curse is cursed. Glory to God. But thank God they were God's people. So before the man did anything, God appeared to him. Those people don't come near them. Praise God. Don't curse them because they are blessed. The man prevailed, you know the story, prevailed on him. At the end of the day, Every time the man opened his mouth towards the people of God, it was to bless them. To bless them. To bless them. To bless them. <laughs> All your adversaries this season, witches and wizards, occultic powers, resisting your life and destiny, the Lord will disarm them. Amen. He will turn their wisdom to foolishness. Amen. They shall be utterly destroyed Amen. that are gathered against you that are incense against you. Amen. So, invisible barriers are real. But the good news is that every child of God, say me, every child of God, has been repositioned in Christ to overcome them. Every child of God has been repositioned in Christ to what? Overcome them. All invisible barriers. If you know where you belong now and you stay there and you function there, no barrier can stand on your way. Is somebody hearing me now? Glory to God. Now, when this ministry was starting, Satan laid invisible barrier on the first church where we were in Kaduna, northern Nigeria. And the church wasn't growing. So our father, Bishop Deku, when we disturbed that with, with him that time, they went to three days of prayer and fasting. They took responsibility, spiritual responsibility, to confront the barriers and break the barrier. And on the third day, God spoke to him. He said, did he see anybody? He just, he was hearing, follow me. And he moved out of the, the church and went to the from the inside to the outside of the church. And he asked him, turn, he turned. Look at the roof of the church. He saw the roof of the church. And he saw on the roof of the church a layer of thick darkness. Darkness. Then God told him, he said, see, that's the siege. That's what the enemy is using to misrepresent my work in this church. Are you with me? 
Later, people told him that when they pass on the road, they see people with white garment, like white garment church. Are you hearing me now? And he said, even that time, he didn't have white suit. <laughs> Praise God. He said, how many were his suit that time that he would have white, white one? Because you need to have plenty of cloth to be using white. Praise God. <laughs> if the suits are few, they have to be black and blue and brown. <laughs> Amen. So you can keep exchanging them. Is that not so? Satan was just, it was a manipulation of the devil against the church. Glory to God. And immediately, he knew what to do. He had been trained, trained in spiritual warfare. God showed him so that he could deal with it. Then he confronted that darkness. Eh? There is a light that shined in darkness. And the darkness cannot handle it. You this layer of dark. What are you doing here? And the darkness rolled immediately like mat, like carpet. Just roll and vanish away. Praise God. Are you with me? That's how the heaven over this ministry became opened. That's a church. That's what? A church. Glory to God. Because Jesus said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. But there is what you must do. Are you with me now? Because they will try. So if they try to resist a church, how much more you and I? Do you understand that now? I learned a great eternal lesson from that. Praise God. Is somebody here now? So with that, I never assume. Don't assume. Praise God. Never assume that the adversaries are not there. They are always there. Are you hearing me now? He said, behold, they shall surely gather together, not by him. Whosoever shall gather against you shall fall for your sake. So if you are waiting for one long rodded prophet to tell you that they are gathered against you, you are wasting your time. You are not sensitive. You are not scriptural. Isaiah 54, 14 to 17. So here, we scatter them every day. Is somebody here now? We scatter them what? Every satanic gang on against this church and her members. We decree their fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. All their weapons are rendered impotent. Any arrow shot at any member of this church return back upon the senders in sevenfold. Are you hearing me now? God, he said, he that bless you, I will bless. He that curse you, I will curse. He said, and he said they will rise up against you one way, they will flee before you seven ways. So we are not just talking, we are talking scriptures. And they know. Praise God. Is somebody hearing me now? They know. May you also begin to talk scripture from now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God has a position us in Christ to subdue and clear off all invisible barriers on, part, on the path of our destiny. We have been repositioned in Christ to subdue and clear off what? All invisible barriers on the path of our destiny. Praise God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see those barriers clearing up. So don't be afraid. Just like Satan specializes in hindering people, creating a manner of barriers, Jesus specializing, specializes in moving people forward. Say amen. amen. In giving people unending progress, continuous progress. Why? Jesus came to destroy all the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested that he might what? Destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Now, very quickly, what are the keys to crushing invisible barriers? Or breaking invisible barriers? Keys to crushing or breaking invisible barriers? Amen. Number one, you must be born again and become a child of light. You must be born again and become a child of light to see invisible barrier clear off. 
because spiritual battles are essentially battles of light against darkness. Say me, light against darkness. They are battles of light against darkness. And when you become born again, you become a candidate for victory. First John 5, 4. Everyone that is born of God overcome this world. And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. Amen. He becomes an overcomer as long as he is born of God. Just like every animal born of a lion is born to rule in the jungle. When you become born of God, we, have, we gain capacity to reign on the earth, to rule on the earth. Praise the living Jesus. Is somebody here now? Why? Because we receive power. And not just power, we, we, God himself begins to dwell in us. First John 4, 4. You have got little children and you have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. What more? The Bible says we are children of light when we are redeemed. Ephesians 5, 8. We are children of light. Ephesians 5, 8. He said, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. So you mean light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Praise God. And you know, light is the cure for darkness. Our Father Bishop Rico said, the dominion of light over darkness is instant and what? Unquestionable. Instant and unquestionable. Glory to God. First John 1, 5. And that light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Darkness cannot undo it. Praise God. Is somebody hearing now? We must be born again so as to become a child of light. And light there talks about spiritual understanding of the word. Psalm 119, verse 130. Spiritual understanding of the word. Psalm 119, verse 130. The entrance of his word giveth light and gives understanding to the simple. The entrance of his word giveth what? Light and gives understanding to the simple. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Number two. You must remain lighted by the word of God to ward off the barriers of the powers of darkness. We must remain lighted by the word of God to ward off the barriers of the power of darkness. Number one, we said you must be born again, thereby becoming a child of light. Amen. Now, it's one thing to be a child of light. It's another thing to be lighted. Praise God. And to remain lighted. Because you see, the light of the word of God does not just show us things. You know, light, among other things, enlightens. Light does what? Enlightens. Your eyes are open. You are able to see what you could not see. Are we together now? So when light comes, things that were hidden, they become open. Praise God. But that's one dimension of light. This light does not only enlighten it illuminates. Praise God. That is, it comes upon us as the object and turns us into light. Praise God. That's what the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9. He said, that is the light that lighted every man that come to this world. That's the light that lighted every man that come to this world. That was the true light. The true light. Weak lighted. 
every man that comes to this world. So it doesn't only bring illumination. This light changes us, transforms us. Praise God. Is somebody here now? We become spiritual illuminants. So that anywhere you appear, light appears. And so darkness can't stay there. Praise God. Is somebody hearing me now? So, there are lighted people in the kingdom. Everywhere they go, darkness bow before them because they are lighted. They are what? That's what happened to Jesus. You know, Jesus, it wasn't every time he had to give command before demons left or responded. Are you hearing me now? While he was yet coming, the demons were crying. Have you come to destroy us before our time? Praise God. Some were negotiating. We know you drive us out, but please let us go to those places. Praise God. Don't let us be without house. Don't let us be roaming. Praise God. Is somebody hearing me now? Why? Light. This is the greatest secret to disarming disarming or overcoming darkness. Darkness has no other solution apart from light. Is somebody hearing now? Many people talk about, you see, prayer, declarations, and all those things. They are very good. And they are vital in spiritual warfare. But those things will only work when you carry light first. Is somebody hearing now? So we have people who have done a manner of prayer and fasting and didn't see results. Glory to God. Because they don't even know what to be doing when they are fasting. Let me tell you now, the greatest thing you should be doing when you are fasting is to seek for light. Is to do what? Seek. You have to change your approach. In fact, for me, I don't embark on a fast until I have materials to engage with. Glory to God. Because what you are asking for, God knows, you. God, he knows that you have need of those things. Is that not so? That challenge you are facing is aware. He is only waiting for your light to come up, for your faith to come alive, because light brings faith also. Light is spiritual understanding of the word of God. And it's that understanding that brings faith. We give you your victory. Praise God. For this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So we must hunt for light. You know, Isaiah 58, 6 to 14. Is this not the fast I have chosen? To break the band of wickedness? To destroy every yoke? And that you let the oppressed go free. But you go down there, then shall your light break forth. Mm, verse 8. Your light break forth. Is somebody hearing me now? Now by the light you are encountering now, the Lord is giving you dominion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But how do we assess light? We will run, look at four points very quickly. This is under number two now. To assess light, A, be spiritual. Be what? Be spiritual. Psalm 25 verse 14. The, the, he said, the secret of the Lord is with those who fear him and he will show them his covenant. Be spiritual. 1 Corinthians 2.14 Only spiritual people can access revelations of the word. They are the ones that can find light in the word. For them that are not spiritual, it doesn't look like anything to them. You ask them, did you hear what they just said now? He said, what did they say? Amen. Glory to God. Because they are not spiritually alive. They are disconnected in the realm of the spirit. Glory to God. Be spiritual and remain in the spirit. Your pet, your dog, sitting with you in the hall and hearing CNN, is hearing the, the sound, but cannot understand what they are saying. Praise God. It's what they hear now. Because it's not the frequency of man. He can't understand. So the natural man can't understand the things of God. Only the spiritual. Be. Be. Be in love with God. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 to 10. Be in love with God. Eyes have not seen or ears heard. Neither has he entered the heart of man. What God has prepared for them that love him. Be in love with God. 
Remain in love with God. John 15, 15. I call you no more servants, but friends, because we are in love. Love is the bond of friendship. And so everything my father has shown me, I have revealed them to you. Glory to God. Those who love God always access the deep things of God. Is somebody hearing now? So everywhere you go, you carry light. Glory to God. Darkness cannot corner you again. Praise God. From now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I see barriers move as you move. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you take steps, I see barriers clear before you. I see barriers leveled before you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. See, be committed to the study of scriptures. Be committed to the study of scriptures. Continuous, persistent study. 2 Timothy 2.15 2 Timothy 2.15 Thank you, Jesus. It says, study to show yourself approved of God. A workman that need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Study. Same as study. 1 Timothy 4, 13 and 15. Mm. He said, till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation and to doctrine. Then verse 15. Meditate upon these things and give thyself wholly to them that your profiting may appear to all. Meditate. Say, meditate. Study the word of God. Study scriptures. The more you study the word of God, the more light you catch. Glory to God. They accumulate. Please hear this. Nobody prepare for battle in the day of battle. He will be a victim. Are we together? We prepare at ordinary times. Daily basis. That's why I said this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth. But shall meditate therein day and night. On daily basis. On what? Daily basis. Glory to God. That grace is released now. Amen. Then D, engage the help of the Holy Spirit. Engage what? Help of the Holy Spirit. John 14, 26. He said, when he comes, he shall teach you all things. How many things? John 14, 26. He will teach you all things. And bring to your remembrance all that I have said unto you. Because as long as you are lighted, no barrier can stand before you. Glory to God. Glory to God. I see all barriers clearing off your way now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness, all powers of darkness, all agents of darkness, all weapons and instruments of darkness, Resisting the destiny, the progress of anyone here, I stand in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare them shattered and destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare them leveled now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, number three. You know, number two, we had A, B, C, D. Do you understand? Number three. We must remain on the go for Christ in advancement of his kingdom to secure divine presence which clears all invisible barriers. We must remain on the go for Christ. We must remain on the go for Christ in kingdom advancement endeavors to secure his presence that clears all invisible barriers. Praise God. Amen. Jesus said in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, all power in heaven and the earth has been given unto me. And so I'm sending you to go. Go everywhere. Preach. And baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And behold, I am with you always. I'm with you what? 
even to the end of the world. Amen. God is always with those who are on the go for him. On the go for him on the prayer altar. They carry the matter of the kingdom as a burden in their hearts. Are you hearing me now? You see that our prayer is more than one hour prayer. If you have prepared that one hour now, you discover that all of a sudden, from time to time, if you have prepared that one hour regularly, some thoughts will come to your heart. Are you hearing me now? To pray. Paul the Apostle said, upon the remembrance of you, I make mention of you in my prayer. Are you hearing me now? Upon the remembrance of the house of God, of God's project, of God's agenda on the earth, you pray. Praise God. Lord, this month, revive your people. Glory to God. Move in our midst. Let there be salvation of souls. Healings and deliverances. Is somebody hearing me now? Those things become a lifestyle. Praise God. God's manifest presence remains with you. And when God is with you, everybody are clear on their own. Do you agree? Psalm 24, 7 to 10. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. Glory to God. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty. He said, lift up your head, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Those are barriers. Barriers clearing off. Is somebody hearing now? Because God is coming. Those who partner with God in serving him, especially on prayer, in reaching out to souls, they carry his presence as a lifestyle. Is somebody hearing me now? So no barrier can hinder them. Therefore, that next breakthrough of your life is released supernaturally. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Amen. Therefore, all through this season of revival, I see all everlasting mountains, perpetual hills, clear off your path. In the name of Jesus Christ. And beginning from today, you begin to take hold of your own possession. In Jesus' name. Rise your feet. Give Jesus thanks. Appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my God. Now, before we pray and release prophetic blessings, if you are here, you are not born again. The barriers can't move except when you get God. And it is through genuine salvation that you carry God as a person. He remains in you and be with you. If you are here, you are not born again, this is your opportunity. All has bowed. Or maybe you were born again before you went back to the world. Put your right hand on your chest. Put your right hand on your chest. I will lead you to Christ now. This is your opportunity. Put your right hand on your chest. Put your right hand on your chest. Put your right hand on your chest. Anywhere it may be, don't be ashamed. This is our Father's house. This is your opportunity. All has bowed. Don't look at anybody. It's a personal journey, personal decision. Let people make their choice now. And say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I see myself as a sinner. I know you died for me. On the third day you rose again that I may be saved. Jesus, please forgive me all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Give me a new beginning and I will serve you forever. I believe with the whole of my heart and I declare you with my mouth now as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. Born again now, I'm a child of God. I'm redeemed to serve the living God forever and ever. Amen. You pray that prayer? Please, come forward. God bless you. Carry your Bible and bags. Come from everywhere. Come forward. Don't be shy. Carry your Bible and bags and come. God bless you. God, God bless you. Just come to this side of the altar. The Lord bless you. God bless you. God bless you. They are there. You are there. Come out. Anywhere you may be, just come out. You have just taken a very fundamental decision. Very vital to life. And your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are still there, please join them. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. You gave your life to Christ. The only person asking you to, to stay back now is the devil. And he doesn't have power over you here again. Except you allow him. But in the name of Jesus, his hold over your life is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now there's a second set of people. This is your first time of coming here on a Sunday morning like this to worship. Can you wave your hand to Jesus in the congregation? Your first time of coming here to worship on a Sunday morning. God bless you. Please carry your bags and Bible. Come forward also to this side of the altar. Let me receive you now. Let's receive you on behalf of Jesus. Let's receive you on behalf of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Church, are you clapping for them? Glory to God. Church, please take your seat. If you are a first-time worshiper, come to this side. You give your life to Christ, stay on this side. Praise God. We welcome you to the kingdom of God. We welcome you to Winners Chapel International Kaswa, home of signs and wonders. Where we win always. You have come to the camp of winners. You never lose any battle in life. Again, in the name of Jesus Christ. From now, you win all the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you are in town, glory to God, we invite you to worship with us again. Make this place your church. You won't have any reason to, to regret at all. But you'll be marking, where have I been since? I wish I had been here. But thank God, our Father said, it's never late to be right. You have come now, and the Lord plant and establish you. In Jesus' name. For our new converts, God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for your sincerity. Surrender your life to Christ. Your life will never remain the same again. In the name of Jesus. It's the best decision any man can make in life. And it is for your glory. Praise God. It shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, among both of you, is there any of you that this is your first time of coming here? Your first time of coming here? God bless. What about you? Okay. God bless you, my sister. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, for both categories of people, after the ministration, we're going to be releasing prophetic blessings now. Glory to God. After this ministration, we are taking you to a class where we will receive you, refresh you, take you through some fundamental things in the Word of God that will get you planted and established. You call it Believer Foundation School. You'll be filled with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. That's the meaning of empowerment. That's the foundation of empowerment today. Glory to God. Are you hearing me now? All the harassment of voices of darkness on your life will end today. So we are not wasting your time. Please cooperate with them. This is not a club. It's not a social center. It's a powerhouse where we come to encounter God. So when you come here, we don't allow you to go like that. Are you hearing me now? At the end, you will see that God will have taught your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You are also collecting certificates for attending that school today. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. But before you go, Wait, let's, let's, let's receive the prophetic blessing. Church, let's rise to our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, one of the things we do, man, are you interested? When you speak, they will clear. You are speaking in the name of Jesus. And you know, at the mention of that name, every name of power, of things in heaven, things on earth, things under it, yeah. When you speak in the name of Jesus, it is as if it is Jesus speaking. No power anywhere can resist Jesus. Is somebody hearing now? No power anywhere shall resist you again from now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say me, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my salvation, my redemption, has you positioned me in Christ. And right now, I take my place in Christ. I take my place in dominion. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against all contrary powers and forces, demonic powers and forces of darkness, resisting my progress, resisting my breakthrough. I subdue them. I level them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree they clear off now. Anywhere those barriers may be, whether in the air, on the land, in waters, underneath the sea, I declare them uprooted and burnt off by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier on the path of my glorious destiny, 
clear off now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we get to make those, those decrees. Measure the area. Measure the area. Measure the area. Every career, every barrier to the release of my miracle job. Clear off now in the name of Jesus Christ. Just engage the name. Speak in that name. Every barrier to, my, to the release of my financial blessings. Clear now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier to the release of my miracle children. You are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier to the release of my breakthroughs. Business and career breakthrough clear off now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier hindering my spiritual breakthrough clear off now in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak, declare as a child of God. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I see those barriers clearing off now. Those barriers are destroyed now. Those barriers are destroyed now. Those barriers are watered off now. They are cleared off now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speak boldly against every barrier. Every barrier to my marital peace and joy be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Maria Kataba Yandere Rebosi Akoka Toka Te Ali Aka Kaka Kaka Ka Sari Yandere Rebosi Akoka Toka Teka Te Emene Rebosi Aka Taba Ya Thank you my God In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Luke 21 15 said behold I give unto you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary shall not be able to gainsay nor resist that thing came out of the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Directly. Glory to God. I give unto you a mouth and a wisdom. That when you say it, none of your adversary shall be able to resist. Glory to God. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you have spoken in his ears, it is established unto you. Every barrier to your rising is destroyed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier to your breakthroughs, they are utterly destroyed now. Amen. And I decree the release of your glorious destiny, Amen. the release of your blessings. Amen. Enter into those breakthroughs now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That testimony you have been waiting for for a long time is finally released. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, my God. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. It is done. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. All our first time worshippers, God bless you. Like I discussed with you, follow this official. She will take you to where we are receiving you. God bless you. Sit that official. Just that way. No, that the other way. God bless you. God. Your things. Okay. God bless you. Please take, follow them. Is somebody clapping for Jesus? Nobody can come except God brings them. Praise God. If you came after the offering was taken, please lift up your offerings, your tithes, everything you came to worship God, we lift them up. Present them to the Lord. Father, we worship you to our seed right now. Receive them from our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them in return. Bless us in return. For every tithe, Lord, open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ. For every giver, let's continue to receive and multiply food in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please leave them up, the officials. We pick them from you now. Glory to God. Glory to God. Water baptism holds every Saturday is the conclu concluding part of the Believer Foundation School. Once you have gone to that school, then you need to go for water baptism. Holds every Saturday, 9 a.m. Praise God. Amen. Good news. We are in our season of revival again. Are you excited? Where you are going to be revived to dominate, to rule and reign in the name of Jesus Christ. I know it has started already. The fire is burning and your fire will never go out. Therefore, all shall be placed in our hand. Minimum three, three copies of our flyers. In season of revival, we bring people to God. Their hearts pant after God. Three, three copies of flyer for every worshiper. 
One from God the Father to you. One from God the Son. One from God the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Another good news. Our kingdom advancement prayers continue. Glory to God. Every Monday in the evening, we gather physically here. 5 to 6.30 to pray for the kingdom. And then the 24-hour online prayer chain also continue. Praise God. On the Challengers Code WhatsApp platform. Please, apart from clocking in and clocking out, nobody's permitted to send anything there. No matter how urgent it is, that place, prayer room, is what? Prayer room. We, the leaders, we know what to send, like all the messages. The messages of our services, we send it there. Glory to God. If there's any other information that I need to come to that platform, it will come through us, not through anybody. Praise God. Are we together? Is to ensure that there is order and people are keeping track with what is going on in the prayer house. Is somebody hearing me now? The word has gone technology, and so we are also serving God with every means we have, including technology. Praise the living Jesus. You can't call for any prayer meeting and have 100 people here. It will take God. It will take the angels going to knock everywhere and bring them. Is somebody hearing me now? But now we have 420 people on the platform. 420. Glory to God. Who can engage at any time they want. Just one hour in 24 hours. To now say you don't have one hour in 24 hours to pray. Then God will not, he will not listen to that. Praise God. <laughs> May the Lord engrace us in Jesus' mighty name. Coming our prayer continues Monday to Saturday. 6 to 7 a.m. We start our day on the altar of prayer. As that is physical meeting. Praise God. For those who have the opportunity. On Wednesday, we are waiting on the Lord in the fast. We appear here in the evening by 5.30 p.m. for our midweek communion service. Saturday, home self fellowship, 5 to 6 p.m. in the evening. Glory to God. Good news. Next Sunday, shall be the second in the series of our all-round breakthrough service. Covenant day of all-round breakthrough. This service, Breaking Invisible Barrier, is breakthrough service. Praise God. So we are going to be continuing on that platform next week. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. And doubles as our monthly communion service. Come and partake of the grace of God. The three services shall be running. Then, finally, Heaven's Storehouse. Heaven's Storehouse is our own welfare store where we receive food materials, clothing materials from members. It's not a, a seasonal thing. We do it during Christmas and all that, but it is all the time. There are always people who are challenged, glory to God, that we need to minister to. Giving to the poor is a great commandment of God. Are we together? Either give to the poor, lend it, to God. So every time I normally charge believers every month have budget for the poor. Out of what you are eating, have something no matter how small to give to the poor. It's part of our givings. Is somebody here now? On a monthly basis. It could be raw food. It could be clothing materials. It could be cash. If it is cash, put it during offering. Write welfare offering at the back of your envelope. It will be treated as such. Is somebody here now? It is a major way of serving the Lord, being a blessing. You will never lack any good thing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Are you happy you came to church today? Are you blessed? Please rest your feet. Give Jesus thanks. Appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of glory. Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Go in peace. Arrive at your home safely. Return with testimonies. God's mighty hand is upon you and your household. Evil shall be far from you. As you move from here, his presence goes with you. Amen. Barriers are broken before you. Amen. You begin to hear testimonies. Amen. Doors that you have been knocking for long, they begin to open to you now. Amen. Because those barriers have been crushed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are blessed. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall do in the house of the Lord forever. 
Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord and finally on the corner way of life. Congratulations. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Great week. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share glory with any man. You will never share glory with anybody. Almighty oh, God. That is your name, your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You, you will never, never share your glory with anyone. You, you will never share your glory with, with anybody. anybody. Almighty oh, God, that is your name, your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anyone. Almighty God. God is your name. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God. That is your name. Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anybody.
Take your seats shortly in Jesus' name. So Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. And so am I in the name of Jesus Christ. On behalf of God and the resident pastor, I welcome you to our covenant day of breaking invisible barrier, which double us as our prophetic entrance service in Jesus' name. This morning, our call to worship is taken from Psalm 27, the verse 1 to 9. Psalm 27, verse 1 to 9, verse 1. He said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Verse 2. Verse 3. Though, though an host should encamp against me, my heart should my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Verse 4. Verse 5. For in the temple, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon the rock. Verse 6. Verse 7, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. Verse 8. Verse 9, together, please. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy spirit, thy servant, away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. 
You are welcome in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Mijina nyanku poni osopeni a owo fidue imu ema mo akwaba ema osum a yadi bubu enkonu yeni na imu yeng asem a yadi edi kai wo osum imu yefano efri enyom edionu enso eni imu ba kun ekodru enkon osi erade ne me hai ne me kwaji e wai na me suono erade ne me kwai ahuo me kwai ahuo de. Why any name ho and popo? A nipab, a nipabone, I was share me so. Now what time me? Sir Wurutia me Obusun soon me, what you are me ever soon, so I mea. Want it same she, now one she she I see. Sir Edom et shrim me so in Sabaya, Macuma ring to. Sir what to me so, sir, and no moon po, and I'm a hot tome. A dear Baku am a Sarah day, and no, and no, Namisha a tree a quine. Some men na median ye na, met na a radi fee, Namasha a radi any mutier, Namadrine, Mitrimu one, na sorry fee, na o cramming in Sassem, Nansem, wo hiada, or the me hunter nata bind them, or Mammy Sujina or Botan so, na a fee. Obema mitri so matanfo a wo twa me ho ehia no so na wo na mabo ne na mabo ne ntuma dan mu ayeye afode e na mato eradi nse nkonyom eradi tie me sufre hu me mabo na ji me so waka se me hwehwe wanim nti makuma makuma si Makuma se wo se eradi wenim ara na mehwehwe enyi weni ehinta me emfa webufo em empamu wakua me mebuafo ne wo ento me entwe ne na nyame nyame enkwagye nyankopon amen praise the lord to take us for that this morning shall we also please pay attention to the following announcement Number one, good news. <laughs> Believer Foundation School holds immediately after each service. All new converts and new members are admonished to take advantage of this very important platform for spiritual empowerment that will result in victorious living. JDFAPM School, no, yeah, Paul, or soon be a ray, yeah, and Tiwanga, and Yasaka, and Fasaka, and Yasro, and Queen, and to me, I'm going to name the Abrabo. Another good news. And Saint Pebu. Water baptism holds every Saturday. This is important for all new converts and every single member who is yet to be baptized by mission since they became genuinely saved. Remember, Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. The time on Saturday is 9 a.m. And please come with a change of raiment. <laughs> Another good news. The Kingdom Advancement Prayer Squad, also known as Challenger Squad's weekly congressional prayer meetings, holds every Monday from 5 to 6.30 p.m. in the church. Our 24 hours prayer, kingdom advancement prayer chain anchored on Isaiah 62, 6 to 7 also continues every day via the Challenger Squad WhatsApp platform. Members are encouraged to engage just one hour daily for guaranteed and continuous all run breakthroughs according to Matthew 6, 6. And by boy, a cool non so aye in Shemua, a joa de beer, numre no num eco no insia, any fancy, Bomadi and a far home, Esha and Pi Bumbi. A fair and Pi boy, a twat to a so I go so cosso, Dorshire, a do no nine beer, I will embrace time, I want Castlevania, a brain, so Bomadi and a far home, a shimby. I will what's happened also. Number four, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Covenant hour of prayer holds tomorrow, Monday through to Saturday. Please let's take advantage of this platform to receive empowerment for daily victories. The time 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. 
a pampa yen air to us who if he a china I could see me men that mommy and fast I can't answer on queen to me and your two many album queen in the abrabo and many are an open on sea and econ on song. Number five, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our midweek communion service all this Wednesday, 7th June 2023, and we shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast and come together to break our fast with the communion. The time is 5.30 p.m. Now watch your empire, mono, as someone also be able to add a conscience and empire, but until we are finding who is in the end, you know, be sure that you are not going to be able to do a conscience and a conscience and a conscience. Number six, Winner's Satellite Fellowship. Our house to house fellowship holds this Saturday at our WSF centers. Don't miss it for anything. The time, 5 to 6 p.m. If you have a young fan, also a bass of me, and that way, any me, and they are in Tishan and so, a bar and you bring no air conducian. Can when you who am film a sign be being tea. Number seven, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next Sunday shall be the second in the series of our covenant day of all round breakthrough. It shall also double as our monthly communion service. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come with your families, friends, and new converts expecting definite encounter with the word and the communion table. Times our service schedules are as usual, the first service 6 a.m., the second service 8 a.m., and the third service 10 a.m. And then I watch and so some of your Pamoda and Yami Ebue Aquenina, a child who is here into Bomodia Nabra, a Sansu Radia, the days from Conton Safra, Dolph Webusia, if you pump for you and any one bra, a summary of Romy and Sansani, and you need the kind of Sian, you know, Jimmy and Sansu, you know. Number eight, Evans Store House. Please take note that ministering to the needs of challenged brethren is not a seasonal thing, it is a continuous operation. Opportunity therefore are bound to bring in food items and clothing materials, good clothes, for continuous distribution. Those who want to give in cash should mark such offering as a welfare offering. Nyamia hen cra dine on so aquenya bam ya se buer to also ukra e diane ana se and what dear a ye material na be be out the bebe yatare a bese se a ye a mono chan with the fasa aquenya sun queen a fan who shame be. Say, won't find your mother being so near Sika, what do you see? Can I say and blue man watch rich? They say a welfare, and also one day, and yeah, I said a fat up a pepper. And you can't say a mawong, a chair, a fear, fear, a say, yeah, and to a to a so, but soon be a near chair, my wonga, yeah, be, yeah, then you should own your medium. Jesus is Lord, celebrating with a clap of yes, you and your young born, sir, man. You are glad and excited to see the first Sunday in the month of June. I've thought you are shouting and clapping unto Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, to proceed further in this service, it is testimony time. Celebrate the Lord God with a big, big, big hand of praise. Pay close attention to the following testimonies as yours is sure to be the next. Number one testimony says, stolen money recovered. The testifier is Deaconess Joanna Garba, WCI Kaswa. She says, I started a new business and I employed, I employed people to work with me. In May, one of the employees ran away with the first fruit of the business. On Tuesday, I came to see the resident pastor and he prayed with me. To God be the glory. The following week on Monday, I was called and was giving back the money. I am here to return the glory back to God. Testimony number two. Miracle Baby via Kingdom Advancement Endeavors. Shortly after the birth of our first daughter in 2013, however, I could not conceive due to medical procedures I had in 2013. In 2021, I went for some tests and then I was told to do IVF. I rejected it and said to myself that if God did it for me the free of charge, I would not pay a dime to conceive again. While I trusted God for a breakthrough, we engaged in kingdom advancement prayer, 
and went for outreaches. In May 2021, I went to the hospital and the pregnancy test was carried out and I was confirmed pregnant. A few weeks later, you are clapping, make it bigger. A few weeks later, I went back to the hospital to make some complaints. Some tests were carried out and the doctor told me that the hormone that was supposed to sustain the pregnancy was very low and as such, I would not be able to carry the pregnancy to term. When I got back home, I began to take the communion and kept declaring my breakthrough for carrying the pregnancy. We also continued in kingdom advancement engagement with intense soul winning. Lo and behold, on the 1st of January 2022, God blessed us with a bouncing baby girl. I return all the glory to God. The testifier is Christian Dari. And we are then Yami Asses from Kuesa, or we in fear do a chin and affair. I won't be a mat now call. I are a sabi, I say one man, I am Yanyu, you may be no can say. Yami, you did kind of the back of chair, no, 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 Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. A bigger, bigger ankle for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have in front of me uh, an episode from the President Living Faith Church worldwide. And the subject is declaring midst of the year season of glory 2023. Please let's pay attention as I read to you the episode. It says, Covenant Highway greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We serve the God of times and seasons who made all things beautiful in his time. God's way usually defines the time and seasons of life as it relates to us both as a church and as individuals. We discover from scriptures that the midst of the year is ordained a season of spiritual awakening of God's agenda, as it is written. Revive thy work in the midst of the year. In the midst of the years, make known your power. However, according to the book of Haggai, the spirit of, of God's people was stirred up in the month of June to begin to engage in the work of the Lord as a priority. And the outcome was an outbreak of earth-shaking revival in the month of July, ordained to make the glory of the latter house greater than the former. The two months of June and July constitute the midst of the year, with five months on either side of the divide. Therefore, the midst of the year is a season of revival which connotes, among other things, one, the season of glory, Two, a season of consecration. Three, a season of fervent engagement on the prayer altar. Four, a season of passionate pursuit after salvation, after salvation of souls. And five, a season of supernatural church growth. But what must we do differently to actualize the blessedness of this season of glory? One, we must enter into a covenant of sacrificial dimension of stewardship. Two, we must define a new schedule of engagement on the prayer altar. Three, we must define an outreach schedule for this season. And four, we must seek kingdom advancement partnership from church members, from our service groups, neighborhood, WSF membership, business con contacts, etc. So what is the big deal about serving God and the interest of his kingdom? One, it is the gateway to all round fulfillment in life. Two, it is our access to the topmost top in our work with God. Three, it secures God's presence that will always make the difference. And four, in addition to, di to diverse other blessings, we reap life everlasting through the investment of our time, energy, and resources in kingdom advancement endeavors. Therefore, by the prompting of the Holy Ghost, between Monday, that's tomorrow, 
June 5, and Sunday, July 30, 2023, we shall be embarking on an extensive and innovative kingdom advancement endeavors aimed at reaping great harvest into the kingdom and massive ingathering of souls into our various churches. You can give Jesus a big hand clap. This shall include, among others, church-based outreach across various segments of our harvest field, crusades as may be applicable from place to place, prayer and soul-winning partnership engagements, and many more. I believe everyone that engages his or her heart in this work shall return with testimonies of supernatural change of story, and, uh, and many among us shall be turned into testimonials as God continues to reward everyone openly according to his labor. Welcome to the prophetic midst of the year, your season of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remain ever blessed from the Bishop David O. Oedipo. God bless you. Krata if you also for pon ho ba e oso di nti asro nko ebre e ne san se nya mewo ebre e ne edon a o de ye ne ne me nti o pe se e be fi e no nya mu akọ e no nya mu bre na he ga me ye ti ase se e du sa bre ya o kenya ye e wo ye hu hu mu nti ni a o pe ne sa asafu nu be di ni ye na nkra nkra nso e wa asafu nu nso e di ni ye nti ni aye ye e den kura na ye hwe e kwan se ye wo ebre ye no nya mu bre ye se se ye tena e wo tene ni ye mu na ye hu na no nya mu bre ne e Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To proceed further in this glorious service, it is over time. Over time, over time. my blessing time. The word of God spoke in Psalm 76, verse 11. Say, pay your title to God and let all people that are around about him present gift unto him with fear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please pack your tithe this morning. Your offering, transportation seed, and every other seed you brought to Honor Mosai God in this service. If you don't, then let's be on our feet. And lay your seeds unto Mosai God. Celebrate for this opportunity. Father, we, we thank you this morning. You play the seed on our hand this morning to honor your holy name. We give you all the praise. Let me accept unto you this morning. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please come for the city and the prayer of Mosaigo. As you cast off the prayer of Mosaigo, as you welcome the prayer to Mr. Lord. Hallelujah. Indeed, it's a season of glory. Hallelujah. Comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we serve a God who does much more than we could ever imagine. Whatever happened is walking, turning it around right now. Watch him walk it. Yeah. All right. 
Watch him turn it. Come on, let's go. Steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. We serve a God who does much more and we could ever imagine. Whatever happened, it's working. It's turning it's around right now. You are good enough to take what the enemy meant for evil. And turn it so around now. To take what the enemy meant for evil. And turn it you around now. Yeah. To take what the enemy meant for evil. And turn it for a good. Watch him turn it. Watch him turn, turn it for my good. Yeah. Watch him turn it. Watch him turn, turn it for my good. Stay still. Stay still. Watch him turn, turn it for my good. Stay still. Stay still. Watch him turn, turn it for my good. God, who does much more than we could ever imagine. Whatever happened, it's working. Turning it around right now. You are God enough to take what the enemy is made for evil and turn it around. You are God enough yes. to take what the enemy means for evil and turn it around. You are God enough yes. to take what the enemy means for evil and turn it for my good watch him turn it watch him turn, turn it for my good watch him turn it watch him turn, turn it for my good stay still stay still watch him turn, turn it for my good stay still stay still watch him turn, turn it for my good stay still stay still watch him turn, turn it for my good yeah. stay still stay still watch him turn it for my good yeah. 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 it's around it's working for my good. Everybody say it's turning it around. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. Everybody say it's turning it around. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. Say everybody say it's turning it around. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. Say it's turning it around. It's turning it around. He's working for my good. He's working for my good. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's turning it around. He's working for my good. 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 He's turning it around. He's turning it around. Turning it around. He's turning it around. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. Yeah, it's working for my good. It's working for my good. Every time it's turning it around. It's turning it around. It's turning it around. It's turning it around. It's, turning it around. it's working for my good. It's working for my good. You are good enough to take what the enemy meant for evil and turn it to a good enough. Yeah. Take what the Enemy meant for evil and turn it. You are God enough to take what the enemy meant for evil and turn it for my good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you can see God turning everything to oh, your good. Lift your hands and just give him thanks right now. Appreciate him. There is none like him. Father, we appreciate you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have come to another midst of the year. Clap for Jesus. 
another mist of the year season. The month of June and July. The two middle months of the year. Amen. Amen. They are time of visitation from scriptural calendars. Habakkuk 3 verse 2. Habakkuk 3 verse 2. He said, O oh Lord, I've heard thy speech and I was afraid. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the year. In the midst of the year, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, this midst of the year 2023, we answer to you practically. In the name of Jesus Christ, it's a time of God's visitation. Are we together? God visits his people according to his calendar. According to his agenda. But God reveals his times and seasons to his servants. The prophet. Amos 3.7. He says, surely the Lord will do nothing. But he reveals his secret to his servant, the prophet. And yesterday at the Leadership Empowerment Summit, God declared to us again through his servant that we are in another season of visitation, which is simply called season of revival. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this season, which is June and July, 61 days shall be your best season so far in life. You shall be spiritually revived to take your place in life and destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 You know, when you are down spiritually, you are down. And you are down and out. But you will never be down again. You will never be out again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, ask him right now. Lord, I thank you. You have brought me to another season of revival. Help me to make the most of this season. Help me to be sensitive to this season. To make the most of this season of revival. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let this season be my best season so far. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Lord. Reposition me. Bow your word. Bow the teachings of this month. Beginning from now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mary God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Put us order for Jesus. And please be seated. Glory to God. Praise the Lord and finally on the common highway of life. Congratulations. The prophetic focus for the month as read on Wednesday is a season of glory. Can we echo it together? With the anchor on Daniel 12, 3. And in the name of Jesus Christ, may this season mark your season of glory indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we began our Sunday teachings in the first service. Understanding the blessedness of a revival, part one. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. This is part 1B. 
Every revival is a product of the outpouring of the Spirit of God upon His people. Culminating in their rapid transformation and change of story. Every revival is a product of the outpouring of the Spirit of God upon His people culminating in their rapid transformation and change of story. In the time of revival, God pours His Spirit upon all flesh. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thereby changing the people to change their world. That's where the glory comes from. It is only a transformed people that can do exploits or make impact. Revival is first about changing the people to change things to just change situations and circumstances in 1 Samuel chapter 10 the spirit of God came upon Saul King Saul and the Bible says he was turned to another man Show me another man. And he said, you will see people prophesying, you also will prophesy. That's supernatural ability. Supernatural capacity given. Is somebody help me now? And not only in spiritual things. Spiritual things with earthly manifestations in your business and career. You just take over. Praise God. Say amen. You just take over. You just be the head and not the tail. That's God's agenda for you. But revival is what reposition you in the reality. In the name of Jesus Christ, from this service, I see your soul revive. I see your spirit man revive. In Isaiah 32, from verse 13, he said, Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and brass. Yea, upon the houses of joy in the joyous city. Because the palaces shall be forsaken, the multitude of the cities shall be left, the fort and the towers shall be dense, that is, places that are supposed to be inhabited, now desolate, vacant. Amen. Amen. Until, say me until. That's verse 15. Until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, and then the wilderness will become what? A fruitful field. And the fruitful fish shall be counted for the forest. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you go to verse 16, then judgment shall dwell in the wilderness, and righteousness shall remain in the fruitful field, and the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness shall be quietness and assurance forever. And my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, and in sure dwellings, and in Quiet resting places. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, all this begin to happen after the outpouring of the Spirit. Supernatural change of story. This season, your story must change. In the name of Jesus Christ. So, I mean, my story is changing. My story is changing. We are in a revival as a ministry and as a church. Even by the grace of God, this local assembly, we are in a revival. May you be sensitive. 
May we be sensitive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Genesis 20:16 to 17. Jacob said, God was here. And I knew it not. Oh, this is nowhere but the gate of heaven. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. This is the gate of heaven. And he was careless. He had woken up before he discovered. Oh. Glory to God. That was when he was going on his journey on the, to the land of Sojourn. But when he returned back, <laughs> Genesis 32, Genesis. this time he was, he was sensitive. Say me sensitive. He knew that God was with him. God was going to visit him. So he was left alone. And he sought God. He said, I will never leave you until you bless me. So you see, time of revival is time of engagement. Time of revival is what? Time of engagement. Beginning with the prayer altar. Revival has never happened anywhere without people praying. Because see the Lord, draw near unto me. And I what? Draw near unto you. Praise God. Hallelujah. James 4 8. The Lord is near to those who call upon him and to those who call upon him in truth. Psalm 145, verse 18. Glory to God. May this season be your own season of revival. And you know, Jacob returned with a change of name. He said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God and with man. With men. And you have prevailed. It was remain Israel. The prevailing prince. This season you will prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ. But very quickly, what is a revival? Because what you cannot define, you cannot assess. If you are looking for something, and you don't know where, what you are looking for, when you see it, you don't know. You just leave it and pass. Is somebody hearing me now? What is a revival? Number one, a revival is a platform for divine visitation ordained for our supernatural change of story. It's a platform for divine visitation ordained for our supernatural change of story. Habakkuk 3 verse 2 He said, revive thy work in the midst of the year. So, the midst of the year is the time of revival when God visits his people and see verse 6. He said, the perpetual heel bow. Verse 6. Everlasting mountains are scattered and perpetual hills did bow. That is long standing challenges are crushed. Is somebody hearing now? Issues of long concern they are terminated when God visits. Thank you, Jesus. This season shall be your best season so far. Because your captivity shall be turned. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every long-standing issue shall be leveled out. If you go to verse 17 to 19, they begin to write in their high Places. Number two. What is a revival? A revival is a spiritual awakening. 
that causes the giant in us to rise. It's a spiritual awakening that makes the giant in us to rise. Ezekiel 37, 1 to 14. There was an apology of the Spirit of God on the valley of dry bone. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Through a prophetic visitation. Say, so be prophetic. Amen. Amen. God visited his prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel. And Ezekiel executed the plan of God. He announced it, he declared it. And we saw the bones came to bones. Flesh came upon them. And the Spirit of God was poured upon the, the flesh. And an exceeding great army came out of that valley of dry bones. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that army came ready to dominate ready to rule the giant in that valley came alive or the giants in that valley came alive I see the giant in you rising this season because you see we are born of God we are what? remember last month I'm redeemed in wonder to my world. Is that not so? There is a giant in every child of God. Because we are created to give back after our kind. Is that not so? Giant can't give back to dwarfs. Neither can dwarfs give back to Giants. If we are born of the most high God, then we can't be low on the earth. I see the giant in you coming alive right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Number, now, now let's move on. Proofs of a revival. What are the proofs of a revival? When is a revival said to occur? A revival is said to occur when, number one, the heart of men begin to pant after God and the interest of his kingdom. The heart of men begin to pant after God. Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2. As they for the water so my soul longer after thee. You alone are my heart desire and I love to worship you are at my strength and shield to you are may my spirit you are at my heart desire People's hearts begin to pant after God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Last Sunday there was rain. Is that not so? Eh? But we still had not just old members come. Plenty first time worshippers. And new converts. Clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. When fire is burning. Say Nothing stops the announcement. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Your fire will burn. <laughs> Your light will never go out. Now, what is happening on our prayer platform with yes. over 400 people? 
engaging in daily prayers one hour prayer on 24 hour online prayer platform is, is an amazement round the clock glory to God there is no time you get there somebody's praying Logging in, logging out. Engaging. Clocking in, clocking out. That's the proof that you are in a revival. People can't be at rest except they seek their God. Okay, somebody help me now. People, if you read that Psalm 42 down, he said, I'm crying, I'm weeping. My bed is soaked with tears because I long to see you, my God. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, somebody hear him now. Because those days, until you enter the sanctuary, you have not seen him. Hey, somebody hear him now. Thank you, Jesus. Heart of men begin to pant after God. Matthew 6, 33 become a way of life. Seeking God and the interest of his kingdom becoming your attitude. Amen. May that remain your attitude for life. Because it is then all these things that others are dying to get beyond any prayer point you can raise shall be added unto you. Number two, proof of a revival. When walking in the fear of God becomes our new way of life. Amen. Amen. Walking in the fear of God becomes what? A new way of life. Jeremiah 32, 39 and 40. When God, people begin to fear God consciously. People don't live their life again as if there is no God. That means revival is already touching you. Glory to God. Is somebody hearing me? What am I say? He said, I will give them one heart. Tell me one heart. And one way. That they may fear me forever. For the good of them. And their children after me. After them. Because when they fear me, it's for their own good. For their own work. For their own good. For them to have rest and peace. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. That I will not turn away from them. To do them good. But I will put my fear in their hearts. That they shall not depart from me. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me now? What am I seeing? Glory to God. They begin to fear God. You know, Joseph said, but I fear Joseph can say me sronyame. Genesis 42, 18. Genesis 18. But I fear God. Do this and live, for I fear God. How can I do this evil and sin against God? You know why many people just live their life anyhow? God is far from them. They are only in religion. There is nothing at stake. Are you hearing me now? And until the religion of Africa translates into reality, our struggle continues. Is somebody hearing me now? Until the religion of Africa translates into reality. That people know God and begin to fear God. Because if you fear God, they won't be stealing. Everywhere. Glory to God. Is somebody hear him now? Under whatsoever guys. You can't fear God and be stealing. No. Thou shalt not steal. Is even among ten commandments. The first ten commandments God gave. No justification for stealing, brethren. Glory to God. Young people of my age, let me tell you, that's the truth. There is no, one came to my office when I first came. That's over a year ago. What do you do? 
Say he's doing online work. Which oh, online so work? Online, online. I bet from 10 times. So it's a four star. I said, just call it stealing. Stealing is stealing. Whether with viral, like accountants. You know accountants? They use pen. Pen and computer to rob. Whether it's uh, internet fraud, whether it's government embezzlement, fraud is fraud and stealing is stealing. He said, sir, you know all those white people, they came to Africa and they carry our resources. We want to claim them back. Quote the scripture for me. The, the wealth of the Gentiles, they are laid for the just. But you are not the just. Leave God. God knows how to convert the resources. Are you with me now? Two wrongs can never make a right. God knows how to convert the resources. That brother is burning for Christ today. Burning for Christ. Today. This year is celebrated because after that encounter, the Holy Ghost worked on him. He came back. Is somebody hear him now? I've had a number of them. It's not one person. Came back, gave his life to Christ. Started doing something else. Because the same brain you are using to defraud people, you can use it to do something meaningful. That you have rest. You have joy. You have peace. How do you feel praying for God to protect you? Your people stole money? No, 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 no. no. Glory to God. That's not Christianity. That's just religion. Just satisfying your religious urge. No. That's not the foundation of this place. Praise the living Jesus. Glory to God. The Lord will give you understanding. He came. He's, he's here testimony now. One year has passed. He has never needed to take any drug to treat any sickness or disease. He's sharing testimony now. Like his pastor. Because God is no respecter of persons. Moving from breakthrough to breakthrough. Don't limit God. What God planned for your life, there is no fraud that can take you there. Is somebody hear him now? Because very soon your children will be growing. They find out, what are you doing? Your children are growing. They find out, what is daddy doing? What is daddy's work? Or what is mommy work? Do we have your own? Do we have your guests also? Or what is mommy's work? Now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree liberty for everyone held in captivity, held in bondage. You know where you must hear all these things? This is church. This is where you can hear it. This is where you should hear it. When you go to other places, they tell you what they like. When you come here, you tell the truth. So that when you make up your mind, we are here waiting for you. Praise the living Jesus. And Jesus is here waiting for you. I see your life transform in the name of Jesus Christ. So I mean, walk in the fear of God becomes a new way of life. Because some are here, they love God. They don't want to continue in those parts. But the courage and boldness is not there. But help is coming to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, what is in the revival for us? What is in the revival for us? That's the blessedness. Number one. Every revival is a spiritual launch pad to our high places. Say me, every revival is a spiritual launching pad to our high places. Habakkuk 3.2 Revive your people in the midst of the year. Revive your works. And we are the, we are the works of God's hand. Then, if you see verse 17 to 19, before the revival, things may look as if they are not working. 
And some point in Kenya, baby, baby, it's a senior macrania. But in verse 18, he said, I will rejoice in the Lord my God. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And verse 19, the Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like hands' feet. And he will make me to walk upon what? My high place. As you reposition in Christ, I see you riding in your high places. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have seen a bit of God. Glory to God. There is nobody who comes to God with a sincere and genuine heart that will not have encounter. It's not possible. James 4.8 James, draw near unto me. And I will, I will draw near unto me. And when God comes to your life, your life can never remain the same. Is somebody hearing me now? Glory to God. Is somebody hearing me now? With God, maybe I should tell my generation also, we are the same generation. Glory to God. At the beginning, it may be so, it may be slow. But it is sure. Are you hearing me now? At the beginning it may be slow. But it is what? It's slow and steady. That wins the race. Praise God. The foundation of a bungalow is not the same thing with the foundation of a 10 story building. Are you with me? Are you with me? The gestation period of maize. It's not the same with cocoa. Miss, three months. You are eating your, cake, your meals. And you are smiling everywhere. Are you hearing me now? The cocoa man is watching the cocoa. Praise the living Jesus. Is somebody hearing me now? Maybe three years, five years. Then he starts footing. When he starts footing, he eats from that cocoa for life. Are you hearing me now? Hand over to the children. Some cocoa trees now have been serving up four generations of a family. From generation to generation. Is somebody hearing me now? Don't be envious of those who are eating their maize now. Are you hearing me now? Are you hearing me now? Except God is not true. Can any any thief or this thing talk about prosperity in this commission? This ministry is dangerously blessed without begging or borrowing, without stealing. Go and find out the foundation of this ministry from the headquarters, from the beginning of the beginning till now. Thank you, Jesus. So, if God has lifted this kind of ministry this way, lifted our fathers, lifted people here. People came with nothing here. Their lives are transformed and changed without going crooked. In the name of Jesus Christ, that same God of winners that you have come to seek will change your level. We change your story. He will show you the way out in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, supernatural restoration of our redemptive dignity. Our dignity in Christ is restored. Joel 2, 23 to 27. After the outpouring of the Spirit, in verse 25, he said, I will restore to you. Say, so me do it, Lord. The years the locust has eaten, the cacaum, the caterpillar, the palmerworm, my great army which I sent among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. And praise the name of the Lord that has dead wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Say me, my people shall never be ashamed. Praise God. 
Hallelujah. Our dignity of glory in Christ is restored back. Sephaniah 3:17 to 20. I will give them fame where they have gotten shame before. Fame is glory. Fame talks about announcement. Go down to 19 and 20. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yeah, that's it. He said, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee. I will save her that halted and gather them that were driven out. And I will give them Praise, say me praise. And fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Is somebody hearing me now? Glory to God. I will restore your redemptive dignity. Your glory in redemption shall be restored. The meaning of that is that nobody shall be able to ask again, where is your God? Are you hearing me now? Nobody shall be able to ask again, where is your God? When they see your God, they see his glory on you. They see his beauty on you. Your amen is weak. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. What is in the revival for us? Answered prayers. Express answer to prayers. Express answer to prayers. John 15, 16. Jesus said, you have not chosen me. But I have chosen you. And ordained you. That you should go and bring forth food. And that your food should remain. That whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, He may give it to you. Now, hear this. Many Christians are frustrated because they just feel all they need to get anything from God is to ask Him. Praise God. Are you hearing me now? No. When we become children of God, we have, God has responsibility towards us. Do you agree? What is, what is to take care of us. And if you check your Bible, oh, God is a very responsible God. He has made provision. He said, cast your burden upon him for he what? For, for your heavenly father know that you have need of these things. But you have your own responsibility towards God. Tell me, I have my responsibility towards God. That's the Christianity we practice in Winnazo. We call it covenant sense. What did I call it? Many people go to church just to be begging God for things. No. That's not what we do here. Here we learn the covenant. Every genuine winner knows what to do. To provoke any miracle he wants. Is somebody heard now? Every time you listen to testimony, listen to details of what they did. Steps they took. Because that's how it was in Bible days. Is somebody hearing now? They did took certain steps as they were taught by their prophet. Moses. Psalm 103 verse 7. He made known his ways unto Moses. Moses taught his ways to the children of Israel. And God began to manifest his acts, his wonders to the children of Israel. Is somebody hearing now? So there is how to live your life that you pray small, go here. Are you with me now? You pray small. You pray little. Go here. He said there's a people that even while they are yet speaking, while they are yet talking, I will answer. I will answer. Praise God. Hallelujah. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be what? Amen. Put his kingdom first. That's our lifestyle here. Amen. Amen. Then all those things that others are dying to get will be added to you. And you know I do say it. 
If you can pray to get answer. Every time you pray. You are a powerful man. You are a powerful woman. Nothing shall be impossible to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By this river. By the outbreak of this revival. I see somebody coming on board. The truth is that it gladdens my heart that more and more people are coming on board for Jesus here. It gladdens my heart. It gladdens my heart. Is somebody here now? Our work becomes very easy. When I pray for people who are serving, I pray with assurance. Is somebody here now? Like that, our dickness that said, the business. I was there to dedicate that business. By grace. Are you hearing me now? And the first fruit, say the first fruit. The worker took the money. Is it Mercy Sedek? The priest. Mercy Sedek, the priest. I said, no. Let me pray with you. Anywhere he is, in the name of Jesus Christ, that money is recovered. It's recovered. It's recovered. And I was glad when she called me that the money has been recovered. Now, for everyone serving the Lord here, every good thing that belongs to you hanging anywhere, I declare their release right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, today doubles as our covenant day of breaking invisible barriers. Invisible barriers are real. These barriers are the works of the devil. They are invisible, meaning you don't see them. You can't see them with your physical eyes. But they are there. Are we together now? You just see physical, you just see, you are not seeing the manifestation you should see. You know, those who work with God, you must have expectation. Our father, Bishop Edebo said, I thank God for where we are. Thank God. But I will have a surprise if we are not there. Say so we make covenant sense. Covenant sense. Glory to God. If you are serving the Lord, you expect things to happen. Is that not so? But there are invisible barriers that must be cleared off. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I graduated from a top university in northern Nigeria, ABU Zaria, with a strong two word. Amen. 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 And I came to Lagos to look for work. I wasn't getting work as I was doing. I was doing one, but you know, there is work that is, does not look like work. <laughs> Amen. So I told God, Lord, this job, you will change it to. Because I was already born again. I gave my life to Christ when I was in my national service year. And I came on fire. This next month will make it 19 years. Glory to God. Give my life to Christ. I started serving the Lord. In Shiloh, I think 2007 or so there about. I had an encounter where God told me he was going to give me a new job. A multinational job. So I began applying. But the jobs were not coming. Or my job wasn't coming. Now, I woke up one day with some with an understanding of certain hindrances. I perceived that there were forces hindering my job. No prophet told me anything. Glory to God. It was only an alert in the realm of the spirit. Are you hearing me now? Spiritual warfare is a fight of faith. So, I woke up. And from following Papa and Kenneth Hagen, our grandfather, I have loved to approach prayer and fasting, reading materials that will give me light in the area 
of attention. So I began reading Born to Win by Papa. That's why today there is no church I pastor. Born to win and Satan get lost. They say most. Even if we be 100, before you know it, it's finished. Glory to God. Because God's word is true. And if we ever produce, many people have received their miracle through those materials. Today. So I read Born to Win. And since it's small, it couldn't last me for the three days. I think second day I finished it. Amen. Amen. Then the Holy Spirit led me to go and buy winning invisible battles. Also by our uh, father, Bishabu Yedeko. They are all in the bookshop. Hmm. And I read it. As I was finishing the book in the, on the third day in the evening, a message came to me. You are going to be invited for a job test with a multinational telecom company. Are you hearing me now? Glory to God. Well, to call this long story short, that's how I got that job. Amen. Amen. Along the line, Satan still tried many things. Time will not permit me. But all the barriers were cleared off. Sir, I engaged with God that even in my dream, I had seen letter being given to me. Now, when day, yes, in the vision of the night, I saw myself joining the training, the training in the training room. I came late. Now that I came late, they call all the other people on the list. Uh, it's MTN, no? MTN. Let me mention their name. Praise God. <laughs> I worked with MTN before I resigned to oh, enter yes, full time ministry MTN. in Nigeria. <laughs> Glory to God. Is somebody hearing me now? Can you imagine calling for them is free? Is that not so? They call everybody, they didn't call me. But the Spirit of God moved me to go and check. And I went there. But there, I told people they would send me back that they didn't call you. Why are you coming? So, me faith. It's a fight of faith. When I got there, my name was on the list. And they told me. Please go to that next room. No, carry a chair, not these rolling chairs. Are you hearing me now? Come and join them. They have started training. The first day of the training. That was the first day of the training. Where I was sitting in my former place of work, I couldn't just. I was restless. Are you hearing me now? I'm supposed to start training today. Yeah, I went there. And I rolled the chair to join them. And I remember the vision I saw. Glory to God. Are you hearing me now? Now when I got there, my breakfast that they had served them earlier, they gave me. The lunch. I was the first person they gave. I got there to take over. I did that job gloriously. Oh. From there, I did my master's in University of Lagos. From that job. From that job, I got married without any begging. Oh. And after that, God said, my boy, it's time now to enter full time ministry. I have told you before. So now, get out. I left to come into full time ministry. That's reality of breaking invisible barriers. Invisible barriers are real. They are works of the devil to hinder your breakthrough. Is somebody hearing now? But hear this, when you are born again, in Christ you have been repositioned for unending breakthroughs. Say me, in Christ, I have been repositioned to overcome, to subdue, and to clear off all invisible barriers on the path of my destiny. And from now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm taking my place in the realm of the Spirit to dominate to subdue, to level out every barrier on my path in the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear this. Just like Satan specializes in hindering people 
Jesus specializes in moving people forward. Are you hearing me now? Because Jesus came to destroy all the works of the devil. First John 3 8. That's including invisible barriers. Every barrier to your testimony in this service I see them crushed in the name of Jesus Christ I see them utterly destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ but what step do we need to take let's see few keys to crushing or breaking invisible barriers Keys to crushing or breaking invisible barriers. Number one, be born again, thereby becoming a child of light and remain so. Be born again, thereby becoming what? A child of light and remain so. Because you see, all the barriers we are fighting, they are simply the works and operations of the forces of darkness. Is somebody hearing me now? Ephesians 5 8. When you become born again, that's when you become a child of light. Say, a child of light. He said, you were sometimes darkness. But now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. 1 Thessalonians 5.5 5. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.5 5. He said, ye are all children of light. And the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Say with me, I'm a child of light. I'm redeemed as a child of light. And everywhere I go from now, I will dominate. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know, our father said, the dominion of light over darkness is instant and unquestionable. First John 5.4 until you are born of God, you cannot overcome this world. Until you become genuinely born of God. Please, brethren, don't fake your Christianity. Are you hearing me now? It is dangerous to fake your Christianity. If you fake it, God knows. And he's the one that's supposed to help you. Is that not so? He can't come true to you. If you fake it, demons know. Which is a wizard. They know. They know those who carry light. And they know those who are just religious, empty barriers. Are you hearing me now? They know. You know the demons say, Jesus we know. Paul we know. But you, who are you? <laughs> Praise God. Your name is added. I say your name is added. Because you are in Christ. Say me, I'm in Christ. You are, by being born again, being genuinely saved. So, if you, if you are not genuinely saved here, escape for your life. Actually, there is nobody who is not genuinely saved who can really like this place. This environment is not comfortable. For those who are not genuinely saved, you can't escape the salvation of Christ here. And in the name of Jesus Christ, every soul that Jesus brought here to be saved today, I decree your final rescue now. You may be stubborn. I was also stubborn. Is somebody hearing me now? Me, my own was, I was born with a serious religious background. No smoking, no drinking, no, but I wasn't born again. Is somebody hearing me now? I wasn't born again. Many of the things you want to say, I knew about them. Glory to God. Is somebody hearing me now? But God still came true to me. 
He arrested me forever. That same God is harvesting that soul now. Because can I tell you something? There is nothing in the devil. He will only just patch you, patch you, patch you until he destroys you. Until he destroys you. He has come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. You will not be destroyed. Every soul ordained for destruction here by the fact that you are in this service, I decree your final rescue in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. Remain lighted by the word to ward off all barriers. You know, number one says you should become a child of light. Remain what? Lighted by the word. John 1, 1 to 9. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. He said that word, go to verse 3. That word is light. No, verse 4. That word is life. And that life was the light of men. And that light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it. Darkness cannot handle it. Verse 9. He said, and that is the light that lighted every man that come into this world. Mm. So, me lighted. so this light does not just allow you to see. It does not just enlighten. It lights you up, you yourself. It illuminates you. It does what? You know physics? You become a spiritual illuminant. Is somebody hearing me now? Light carrier, that's the meaning. All these barriers are forces of darkness. But when a man of light comes, as you move, they clear. As they move, as you move, they clear. Because somebody say darkness has no definition. Darkness, darkness simply means absence of light. Are you with me? Darkness simply means what? When light comes, they go. This commission reigns by light. Members of the Unas family reign by light. Is somebody hearing me now? That's why I see we don't struggle like many other people, even in the body of Christ, struggle to get result. We just know the right keys to press. It's not struggles that, that open a door. It's possessing the right key. Are you hearing me now? For example, now we know that in this season of revival, what we are doing is we are praying, we are bringing souls, following them up to be established. This is not the first time we are doing this of the year. We have been doing it for many years now. Glory to God. And this season, it will answer to you. Practically. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 You see, as long as Israel walk in the light, all the barriers of Balaam or Balak couldn't stand before them. Numbers 23, 19 to 24. He said, God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. He has not found them in any crookedness. They were walking in the light. So, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. No divination against Israel. But, how do we assess this light? We just list them very quickly. A, be spiritual. Be what? Be spiritual. Psalm 25, verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. And he will show them his covenant. Be spiritual. Praise the living Jesus. Don't be a carnal person. Carnal people can receive spiritual things. First Corinthians 2.14. 
This light is revelation of the word of God. And except we remain in the spirit, we can't assess them. Are we following? B. Be in love with God. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 to 10. It's, it's one of the scriptures I received on the day I gave my life to Christ. As it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard. Now that's the word of any man, what God has prepared for them. But they are revealed to us by the Spirit of God. For the Spirit searched all things, yet the deep things of God. But our access is because we love God. God. The same is in John 15, 15. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, be committed to study of scriptures. All these are number two. See, be committed to study of what? Scriptures. 2 Timothy 2, 15. 2 Timothy 2, 15. Study to show yourself a proof of God. A workman that need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Amen. It takes continuous studies to access light. To access what? And you are confronted with challenges where you don't have enough light. One of the proof you don't have enough light is that when you think about that issue, there is fear in your heart. Are you hearing me now? There is what? Fear in your heart. Glory to God. Then you have not discovered your dominion over the matter. We call it fear of unknown. You don't have light in that area yet, so fear still remains in the heart. But when light comes, fear disappears. So go for light in that area so as to dominate the issue. D. Engage the help of the Holy Spirit. Engage the help of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2 9 to 14. He said, but they are revealed to us by the Spirit of God. For the Spirit searches all things. First Corinthians 2, 9 to 14. He said, in verse 12, 13, he said, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. He, he, he begins to show you, he teaches you things. The Holy Spirit is a master teacher. He's the master teacher. John 14, 26. With relevant illustrations. Then the light breaks out. And then you begin to dominate. As God liveth in the name of Jesus Christ, I see you dominating all the works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three. We must remain on the go for Christ. So as to secure his presence. Remain on the go for Christ. To secure his presence. That clears every barrier. Glory to God. Because everyone on the go for Christ. Whether on the prayer altar or reaching out to souls to win them. Are we together now? Checking up even on old members who maybe something happened, they, were, they disconnected or they were challenged. Is somebody hearing me now? All is being on the go for God. Engaging your resources. All of them is what? Be engaging your resources to serve God. To bless lives. Is somebody here now? Not just giving them money. Giving them money and turning them to Christ. No matter, it's good to give. 
and we do that a lot. You need it on this assignment. Are you hearing me now? But don't just give material and money things without being interested in their spiritual development. Are you hearing me now? That comes first. That comes what? That comes first. I don't stay long with anybody that is not interested in my Jesus. You are interested in my money, but you are not interested in my Jesus. Bye bye. Because I know I'm not really helping you. I know. Glory to God. That many of us, those who connected us to Jesus, not that they give us money. But today, can we ever forget? We remain grateful to God and to them. Is somebody hearing me now? For, because no man can meet the need of the other. Every man needs God. The meter of all needs. Our father said, God is more than enough. God is all we need to have all our needs. This season, may people connect to God through you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because as you remain on the go, God's presence remains with you. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. All power is given to me in heaven and on earth. Now go to the world. Preach the gospel everywhere. Baptize it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Behold, I am with you always. I am with you all. And when God is with you, which barrier can stand? Is there any barrier that can stand? Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, God dwelt in their midst. The sea saw them and fled. Jordan was driven back. Jericho was Enter God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Both physical and invisible barrier, visible and invisible barrier, all of them were cleared off. All. How many of them? All. Glory to God. Because God was with them. From now, God's presence will never depart from you. And every barrier on your path of destiny, they are cleared off now. They are cleared off now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can add this as number four. Keep speaking boldly against all invisible barriers. God does not speak to mountains for us. We are the one that should speak. Mark 11, 23. Keep speaking. Don't watch them. Because after light has come, you engage it on the altar of prayer and you engage it through declarations. Every visible barrier on my part, every power hindering my blessing, crash now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mark 11 23. He said, You say to this mountain, be thou removed. I mean that cast to the sea and not doubt in your heart. You shall have whatsoever you say. And you can't doubt it because light has come. You are saying it out of light. Say me light. Light has come. So you can't doubt it. Praise God. People only doubt what they can't see. Is somebody hearing now? That about 19 years ago now that I saw Reality of my health and wholeness in Christ. I can't but speak it. I can't but declare it. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me now? What am I saying? From now as you speak, every barrier will clear off. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 54, 14 to 17. He says, surely, he says, righteousness shall not be established. That 14 to 17, 54, 14 to 17. In righteousness shall not be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Be Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for you. Now see the condition, verse 17. 17. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn who? 
Many people will say, ye shall condemn. condemn. Or God shall condemn. No. It's you. Are you hearing me now? You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Why did he make us priests and kings? To reign on the earth. Kings reign by decrees. They reign by what? Thank you, Jesus. Your time is finally here. From now, everywhere you turn, walking in the light of scriptures, every barrier resisting your breakthroughs, resisting your blessings, resisting your glory, resisting your testimonies, I see them crushed in the name of Jesus Christ. They are destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise to your feet. Give Jesus thanks. If he has blessed you, give him thanks right now. And very quickly, before we pray, and I prophesy over God's people, if you are here, you are not born again. That's the first step you had. For invisible barrier to respect you, you must be a child of God. All has bow. Put your right hand on your chest. Or maybe you were born again before. You went back to the world. This is your opportunity. The Lord has not spoken to you to condemn you. He spoke to you to rescue you. You are here, you are not born again. Put your right hand on your chest. Put your right hand on your chest. All has bow. Don't look at anybody. It's a personal journey. It's a personal decision. Let him that think he stand take heed. Lest he fall. Put your right hand on your chest. And say this prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come to you today. I see myself as a sinner. I know you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I may be saved. Jesus, please forgive me. All my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Give me a new beginning. And I will serve you forever. I believe you now. With the whole of my heart. Receive you. My Lord and Savior. Amen. Now I'm born again. I'm a child of God. I'm redeemed. To serve you, the living God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 You pray that prayer anywhere you may be. You pray that prayer. Carry your bags and Bible. Come forward here before the altar. Let me receive you on behalf of Jesus. Church, are you clapping for them as they come? Anywhere you may be, please come. Jesus is calling upon you. Come right now, walk out on the devil. God bless you. Work out on the devil. Thank you for your sincerity. Thank you for being sincere today. Thank you. Thank you. If you are there, join them. Join them. If you pray that prayer, don't stay back. The only person asking you to stay back is the devil. And if you allow him, it's your fault. It's your fault. The oil have been released already. The unction of liberation have been released already upon you to liberate you. So whether you walk out now or not, it's your fault. But in the name of Jesus Christ, Satan's hold over your life is broken and destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are still there, please join them. In Jesus' mighty name. Now, there are some people here. This is your first time of coming here on a Sunday morning like this. To worship. Anywhere you may be, this is your first time. You, are, you become our guest from now. And the guest of Jesus. Amen. Carry your bags and Bible also. And please come. Come to this side of the altar. Let me receive you now. 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 Come. 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 This is your first time of coming here to worship. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Please take your seat. Among our uh, new converts, is there any of you here that is your first time of coming to this church? Raise your hand up. This is your first time? Okay. One. God bless you. God honor you. I welcome you to church. This is Winners Chapel International Casua, home of signs and wonders. Your life will never remain the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are in town, worship with us. It's a place where 
God's word is taught with clarity and the help of the Holy Spirit. Where lives are changed and transformed. Where we win always. The last battle you lost is the last one you will ever lose. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you. For our, our new convert, God bless you. Amen. Thank you for being sincere. Amen. Giving your life to Christ. Yes. Your life will never remain the same again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The yoke of the yoke of your life is forever broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now for both categories of people, after the prayers here, we have a special class. They have called it Believer Foundation School where you are taught the rudiments of the word of God to get you spiritually established. And you also feel the Holy Spirit with the help of speaking in tongues. Right now, just right now. You collect a certificate for attending that school. And as you patiently wait on us to do that class, it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing of this commission and of the kingdom will rest upon you Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Church, shall we pray over them? Lord, we thank you for this, your people. We call them blessed. They are established and planted. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Please don't go yet. Just stay. Please rise to your feet, everybody. And receive this blessing. Glory to God. Can you see the reality of your victory and your dominion over invisible battles? Lift your two and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my salvation, for my redemption. I'm born of God. And because I'm born of God, I overcome Satan, demonic spirit, witches and wizards, occultic powers, forces of darkness. I overcome them. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every barrier, invisible barrier, or every visible barrier against my life and destiny, against my testimonies, against my glory, against my blessings. I subdue them. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I take my place in Christ, in dominion, in authority, and I enforce my victory and dominion right now over the forces of wickedness, over forces of darkness. I subdue them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, begin to make those declarations, mention the area. The area where you want the barriers cleared. Every contention of hell over my life and destiny is destroyed and leveled for life. I take authority over them now. I dominate them now. I overcome them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I subdue them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every force against my fruitfulness be crushed now. Every force against my breakthroughs be destroyed now. Every force against my peace and joy be destroyed now. Be utterly destroyed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, declare what you want to see. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Zaria katava yako katiande. Se poko koko 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 koke. Zaria katava yande rebozi yako kato. I take my place in Christ. I overcome, I subdue all invisible barriers to my rising, to my breakthroughs, to my blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift your right hand right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, behold your people. We have heard your word. We believe your word. We have also declared with our mouth. Therefore, confirm every word of declaration in the mouth of your people now. You said to Israel, as you have spoken in my ear, so will I do. So also as we have spoken in your ears, in your sanctuary, before your altar, do unto us right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I decree the destruction of every invisible barrier on the part of the destiny of your people, on the part of our testimonies, on the part of our glory, they are destroyed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every hindrance to your breakthrough in life, I declare them utterly consumed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, destroyed by fire now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, now take your place in the realm of the Spirit and receive all that belongs to you from now. You will no longer be denied. That long awaited testimony is released in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my God.
Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. It is done. Put your hands together for Jesus and be seated. First, our new convert, God bless you. See that official. Follow her. My brother, see. That's your kingdom friend. She will take you there. Where they will receive you. God bless you. Church, let's clap for them. Thank you, Jesus. If you came after the offering was taken, please lift up your offerings and present it to Jesus. Father, receive our offerings, our tithes, and other kingdom investment, and bless us in return in the name of Jesus Christ. For every tither, open heavens. For every giver, Let's continue to receive. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Just lift it up. The officials will pick them from you. Good news. We are in another midst of the year revival. Somebody excited? A time to pant after God like never before. Engaging on the prayer altar. And reaching out to the lost. Ushers will make available to us now. Our flyers. If you are getting blessed here, it's our duty to keep bringing people to the house of God. So that they can be saved like we have been saved. Three, three copies per person minimum. One from God the Father. One from God the Son. One from God, the Holy Spirit, to you. Collect it with joy. If you want more, ask them, they will give you. There are people all across the city that God has earmarked for this church. And God shall bring them through you. Say amen. Say amen. Our kingdom advanced prayers continue. Every Monday we meet in the evening. Apart from covering our prayer that run Monday to Saturday in the morning, we have congregational prayer in the evening of son of Mondays. Five to six thirty. We engage for God. Yes. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. And then our 24 hours online prayer chain continues. Can we clap for Jesus? Currently, we have over 400 people on that platform. Log in. One hour. Only. Praying kingdom and my prayers. With the prayer point there. The prayer point are always sent. They last for 24 hours. Within that 24 hours, pray anyone. Pray any one hour that you like. The only day we have two sets of prayer is on Sunday. We have four sets that will end by 12 noon. And that focuses on the Sunday service. Another set from 12 noon to 12 midnight. Because God has heard our prayer concerning the service. We now need to pray to thank him and pray other prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. On Wednesday, we are waiting on the Lord in a fast. And we come in the evening by 5.30 p.m. To break our fast with the communion. Amen. Amen. On Saturday, home self fellowship, 5 to 6 p.m. Good news next Sunday. Please, there's a correction concerning the announcement of next Sunday. Next Sunday is our covenant day of all round rest. Can we clap for Jesus? All round rest. All round rest. All round rest. Please, let's broadcast to others. It doubles as a special monthly communion service. Our three services shall be running. Another good news. Heaven's Storehouse is our welfare distribution center. Ministering to the need of challenged people in our midst is not a seasonal thing. It's a continuous thing. So opportunities abound every month, every time, to bring food items, raw food, clothing materials, good clothes, or cash. 
for the ministration to the challenged brethren. If you are giving cash, mark the envelope as welfare offering. Every month, half budget for the poor is part of our giving. He that gives to the poor shall not lack. He said that which he has given, God will give him back. Praise God. Hallelujah. As we obey, you keep swimming his blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you happy you came to church today? Rise to your feet. Give Jesus thanks. I appreciate him for the encounters of today in the name of Jesus Christ. For laying the foundation for the new month for us. Thank you, Mary God. Jesus, my name. Go in peace. Arrive at your home safely. Return with testimonies. God's mighty hand is upon you and your household. Evil shall be far from you. No member of this church will go astray from Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will serve him to the end. And the blessings of the Lord will answer to our lives. Every adjustment anybody need to make in our spiritual life, grace is released right now. Jesus mighty name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Praise the Lord and finally the common hour of life. Congratulations. And amen. God bless you.
of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm finally on the covenant highway of life. So I am the name of Jesus. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. On behalf of Jesus Christ and the resident pastor, I welcome all of us to the third service of the day. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Amen. Today is our covenant day of breaking invisible barriers and I see God freeing you in Jesus' name. 
It also doubles as our prophetic entrance service for the month of June, and God is giving you a green light into the month of June. To take us further in this service, please let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 27. Psalm 27, we are taking the first nine verses. I take the verse one, you take the verse two, and we go in that order. Are you ready? Psalm 27 verse one says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? All of us, verse 2 together, when the wicked. Please, let's go again. Verse 2 again. Ready? Go. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came. Wonderful. Verse 3 says, Though an host shall encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Say amen. amen. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. Verse 4 together. One thing that I was that I may dwell to behold the beauty. Verse 5 says, For in the time of trouble it shall hide me in his salvation, in, in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. Shout amen. amen. Verse 3 together. And now. Amen. Verse 7 says, Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. I see God answering me this morning. Amen. Verse 8 together. When thou said. All of us, verse 9 together. Let's go. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not my servant away in thy anger. Thou hast help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O oh God of my salvation. God will not forsake you in Jesus' name. Amen. Me mamu akwaba ejina osofupeni anemu eni nyankupo anemu mamu akwaba eba osuma etosumiensa ene dei na ene dei sum ya suma ya di bubu akwensi di ni na ewa ya brabu mu asema ya di she osumi ya si ya funny free enyum. E dio nu en son, e yi mu ba kon e ko en kron. O si e rade ne men hain ne men kwa jie. Hwain na men suro no. E rade ne men kwa a hon o den. Hwain nim na men hon popo. Ni pa bonen a wo she me so na wo tain me. Se wo ritwa me a be sun swain me a. Won weti weti na won hon riya se. Se dom che me so en saban ya. Ma kuma ri in tu. Se wo tu me so sa, e no mu e na me hon e to me. A de ba kon a me se e rade, e no na me shi she e chi a kwa yin. Se me na me di e nye na, me ti na e rade fi e. Na ma she e rade e ne mo ti e, na ma jene me tri mu e wo na sorry fi e. Na akuma, na wakura me ne se se mu, wo hiyada. Or the men who turn the hunter beer, or mammy sujina or botan so. Na a fey, or bema mitri so. Ma tamfo a wetra me hon eshia so. Na ma bonen tama demu a ye ye a fodye. Na ma to eradi sen kunyom. Eradi tie me sufre, hon me mobo, na jime so. Wa kan se, monje she me nim, enti makuma se o se, e radi, we nim na mere she she, inye we ni e hinta me, en fa we bufo, en pamu wakua, me bua fo ne wo, en tu mentene, ne nyam me, ne me nyam kopon, amen. Amen. Once again, welcome to church. God bless you. Afe me ma wakua ba. Praise the Lord. To take us further into this glorious dead service, it's announcement time. 
Number one, good news. Believers Foundation School holds immediately after each service. All new converts and new members are admonished to take advantage of this very important platform for spiritual empowerment that will result in victorious living. Fapim school no echo so ever or soon be a raya be pound to Wahana Unia in so much to bore and his answer to the abo more than a pound. It shouldn't be an hour back for fro or fenya me for fra. Now, what to me abo in Queen Media Abrabo? Number two, another good news. And Sam Pebu Water baptism holds every Saturday. This is important for all our new converts and every single member who is yet to be baptized by immersion since they gave their lives to Christ. Remember, Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16, 16. Time is 9 a.m. Come with a change of raiment. In so much to boy, eh, cost some men that way, any men in the beer, right? Is our Hannah when you say, in so much to boy, you be, and now I say, what fen, I'm for fra, now I'm about for fra, but more than a fassa, a quenya soon queen, so now my way to me, I'm about in Queen Media, Abra, boy, yes, who can say, so would you deny a boy with Sua and Uya and Quadia, Kura, Kura, or Bakai, and Fataria, or the better San Hobra, and Rene and Opa, no, no, no. Number three, good news. And Sampa. The Kingdom Advancement Prayer Squad, Challenger Squad. Weekly congregation prayer meeting holds every Monday from 5 to 6.30 p.m. in the church. Also, our 24 hours kingdom advancement prayer chain anchored on Isaiah 62, verse 6 to 7, also continues every day via the Challenger Squad WhatsApp platform. Members are encouraged to engage just one hour daily for guaranteed and continuous all-round breakthroughs according to Matthew 6, verse 6. And Pibo Kuon also a year in Shemo, a Juada, and Yumre, a Kono, no more, and a Cosino, Sia, and a fan. Now, don't you read a no nine and Pi Bon also a Guso, a Coso, or Hossa, Ponti, Bomadia, and a Fawn, it shouldn't be. Number four, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Covenant hour of prayer holds tomorrow, Monday through to Saturday. Please let us take advantage of this platform to receive empowerment for daily victories. Time, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Pampa yena air to us if you a china I could see me menda in the emphasis are quenya soon queen so near young queen media bra bo na emrene and upon sea econsum. Number five, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our midweek communion service holds this Wednesday, seventh June twenty twenty three. We shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast and come together to break our fast with communion. Time five thirty PM. I watch him pair most of my own so I be basu, who are they are conching any empire, born yen in Ia Bishia, no no any fan, near their conching, not about every year any erradi edidia. Number six, Winner Satellite Fellowship. Our house to house fellowship holds this Saturday at our WSF centers. Don't miss this for anything. Time, five to six p.m. If you have your uncle Fan also air basso me men that we any me me that be a anti bombodia and a far who shame be a new home film sebi binti a merini a numerino num echo nuncia. Number seven, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next Sunday shall be our covenant day of all round rest. <laughs> Hallelujah. It shall also double as our monthly communion service. It shall be a service to be much remembered. Come with your family, friends, a new convert, expecting definite encounters with the word and the communion table. Service schedule is as usual. First service, 6 a.m., second service, 8 a.m., and third service, 10 a.m. And then I watch it as someone so yeah, a palm there in your man and my young my dear a child who you know as she are into China a new home film for the BNT a sound so yeah radio a DDA so much wrong con so on suffer a bush yeah drop for fee pam for you know no one right so many of me and satan you know no need the kind of yeah no panel you see and yet to see me you know what you mean sound so you know do number eight heaven storehouse please note that ministering to the needs of challenge brethren is not a seasonal thing it is a continuous operation. Opportunity abound to bring in food items, including materials, good clothes, for continuous distribution. Those who want to give cash should mark such offering as welfare offering. 
I hear you now the crowd dying on so you are saying, We are not a queen of frost out there and tire mono and there in your near and say, Beba bedon sabre ho. It's not such a dia de mancrophone and yes, I fear fear a mritia mritia and Tinia will be out to me. The bar who you need to come so I bet to me, I shall win proof no more treachery welfare. Nina Abbe Cosenia, Essen, when you are means the Munsura. Jesus is Lord. Let's celebrate the Lord. Yes, so I am a one sermon. Somebody is happy to see the first Sunday in this month of June. Let's give a big shout of hallelujah to the most high God. Let's make it better and better. Amen. To take us further, it is testimony time. I don't see the embryo. Testimony time. I don't see the embryo. Amen. Amen. Please shall I call on the following brethren to come out to share their testimony to the glory of God. Mrs. Joyce Kufija. And Mr. Jeremiah Nabila. Whilst they come, please let's pay attention to the following documented testimonies. This one is coming from Sister Victoria Rogers, WCI Kaswa. Let's make it better and better. It's read I am here to return all the glory to God for his faithfulness and goodness toward me and my family. Since our resident pastor came, to dedicate my shop. Things have been going well. Let's make it better. Also, God has added another year to my years. To God be all the glory. Amen. Amen. Please tell us your name and what God has done in a minute. Praise, praise the Lord. My name is Joyce Kofija. I have come to return all the glory to God. For some few weeks now, um, we have been very wonderful, financially too loaded. So I told God on the altar of prayer that he must do something. So last week Sunday, when we came to church, Papa declared something. He said, go and come back with testimony. So I came into it. So when I got home, Monday morning done, I woke up and then I prayed the online prayers. So I told God that God, my daughter's food is finished. Her medication too is finished. You must make a way. I was there after the prayers. I didn't take my phone because I have to take care of the two of them. Let me check my phone, 500 CDs. From nowhere to today, I don't know who sent the money. I have just come to return all the glory to God. And that money has taken care of her food and her medication. Secondly, God has saved my small boy. When I was in the kitchen doing something, so I gave him his toy to play with. So I heard that he was struggling, like someone to breathe. I was like, what is going on? So the Holy Spirit prompted me to check. So when I checked, he, was, he swallowed rubber. So the thing has choked the throat. So quickly, I have to put my hand inside the throat and remove the rubber. And I've come to return all the glory to God. As if that one is not enough. Two years exactly today. My daughter has been on oxygen for sometimes three months, two months. But today, she is not on oxygen. God has been faithful to her. This child has been going through seizures. Sometimes even 10 minutes, 20 minutes, uncountable. It's beyond doctors. To today, this child is still living. I have come to return all the glory to God. Amen. 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 Eh, owo sika pa na ne owo sika bebre enti oba be bompa ye eh o eh, free asore no obompa ye juada no ahumachin na ade chin ye o hweni tete phone so a sika na aye bebre e eh, wo ne tete phone so e eh, ma sika no ihia sa odi beto eduane ama ne ba no onya ma ne bro so afei ni ba be man so o me ne roba a ah, na on to me ehume eh, enso eh, nyame adum otumi hun e eh, yi pie Please tell us your name and what God has done in a minute. I'm Jeremiah Nabila, and I'm here to give all the glory to God. Mid last year, I had some up upstairs, so I stayed home about a week. I'm the type who doesn't stay home even a day. But the thing was serious that I stayed home a week. And then my sister is a lab technician, so we went to the lab. She checked, she said, 
stomach ulcer. I know myself. And I don't think I can have stomach ulcer. So I rejected it immediately. Since then, I've been going my normal life and I've never felt any symptom of stomach ulcer. I'm here to give glory to God. Secondly, my wife is pregnant. And, and um, pastor was preaching a, a month ago. And it was like, he named his second uh, daughter who was, uh, who was about to be giving birth. She gave her a female name. So I, I keyed into the... And I said, okay, I've gotten a, 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 a male. So I also want to balance it. So I went home. I also gave a female name. Lo and behold, the two scans they've done all has shown that it's a female coming. So I'm here to give the volume. Thirdly, early this year, early this year, last year I took a certain decision and then it affect, affected me mightily on my finances and everything. So early this year I came to pastor. I was like, pastor, my two bikes are down and I do delivery. So I want to go for a work and pay. He was like, no, don't do that because sometimes they worry. I was adamant. I went home. I wanted to do it. My wife was like, you said your pastor told you not to go for it. So I decided no. By February, everything was set up and I give glory to God. Lastly, last month, the devil attacked my business. I took it as a normal thing. Because any day I go out, I have a flat tire. I changed tube, I changed tube to the fourth one. I became a, me a mechanic because I had to be changing, removing the back tire for fitness. So I realized, no, it wasn't normal. So I took the anointing oil. I was like, no, now it has gotten to me. I anointed my bike, prayed, and since from then, it's never happened. So I'm here to give all the glory to you. Amen. Amen. Ya ubi ewo ni mu enti oko asipiti ema washe no wasi wenya eh wenya stomach ulcer no she ni mu anya dia obeti mi enya sa stomach ulcer enti obo mpaye na fiti sa brand be pemene onya eho popo ye bia e biem afi odanya me asese na eh bosum ye twem ye papa na okanya me asem na oka fa e mawo ho na ono so na ne yire nyem na nea opese obenya oba no no kre wenya na afe so oka safa na djuma ho nea na ohia no wona djuma mu nyina nyame e de ama no odanya me ase e wo ho hallelujah the next testifier mrs sandra harris wci kaswa it says on Tuesday morning, around 8 a.m., I went out to distribute flyers at my junction. And about to board a vehicle, I fell to the ground and felt a sharp pain in my leg. I came to see the resident pastor, and he prayed for me. And I got healed immediately. The pain is gone, and I'm here to return all the glory to the Most High God. Let's make it better. And better. Bernada no okoyesa okochiche flyers na owie ye no all through a shen and a ball form na fe na ne na ye ne ye nti oba ye sofu peni ho ne ne bompa ye emprem prem wa onya yarasa nti odi asida ebre rade amen you are next to testify to the glory of god let's make it better wadansi die ene dikan e chatu wo wo yesu di mo amen for all those magnificent testimonies give the lord a big hand of praise To take us further this morning, please pay attention to this epistle from God's servant, the apostle over this commission declaring midst of the year season of glory 2023. Covenant Highway greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. We serve the God of times and seasons who made all things beautiful in his time. God's word usually defines the time and season of life as it relates to us, both as a church and as individuals. We discover from scriptures that the midst of the year is a day or season of spiritual awakening in God's agenda. As it is written, revive the works in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known your power. Habakkuk chapter 3, 1 and 2 and verse 6. However... According to the book of Haggai, the spirit of God's people was stirred up in the month of June to begin to engage in the work of the Lord as a priority. 
And the outcome was an outbreak of earth shaking revival in the month of July, ordained to make the glory of the latter house greater than the former. The two months of June and July constitute the midst of the year, with five months on either side of the divide. Therefore, the midst of the year is a season of revival which connotes, among others, a season of glory, a season of consecration, a season of fervent engagement on the prayer altar, a season of passionate pursuit after souls or the salvation of souls, a season of supernatural church growth. But what must we do differently to actualize the blessings of this season of glory? We must enter into a covenant of sacrificial dimension of stewardship. We must define a new schedule of engagement on the prayer altar. We must define our outreach schedule for the season. We must seek kingdom advancement partnership from among church members, from our service groups, neighborhood, WSF members, business contacts, etc. What is the big deal about serving God and the interest of his kingdom? It is the gateway to all-round fulfillment in life. It is our access to the topmost top in our walk with God. It secures God's presence that will always make the difference. In addition to diverse other blessings, we reap life everlasting through the investment of our time, energy, and resources in kingdom advancement endeavors. Therefore, by the promptings of the Holy Spirit, between Monday, June 5th, and Sunday, July 30th, 2023, we shall be embarking on extensive and innovative kingdom advancement endeavors aimed at reaping great harvest into the kingdom and massive ingathering of souls into our various churches. This shall include, among others, church-based outreaches across various segments of our harvest field, crusades as may be applicable from place to place, prayer and soul-winning partnership engagement, and many more. I believe everyone that engages his or her heart in this work shall return with testimonies of supernatural change of story, and many among us shall be turned into testimonials as God continues to reward everyone openly according to his labor. Welcome to this prophetic mist of the year, your season of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. Bishop David O. Oyedipo. You can give Jesus a big hand of praise. Grata if ye a sofa pon ho e ba ye ni se sabre e ye bre a e ye eno nyam e she e bre na e den na ye hwe ni ye hwe titiru ni se e ye in Kenya e sumu na ye be hwe se ye be nya eno nyam e bre e wo mu na fe ya ya te wo ye ho ensu wo mu na ye mre nso aye ne ye beten tam e wo empire bo mu na sa abri kro ya nso na ye be di ama asafo na na wi afe no empire mu aye abusu mi nsia e ne e somo and so no mono, a young Kenya every strong con ah, and on tea a dear na ye ye ni a ye shen say ye betchin a cra a ben ya mifi ni a share ama wong e tin timu ewa asafu no mo and ti wobi ara den a kuma be de chile no why ye na dean ye be ne for fron ye be ne for fron se ye be bom more den a cra no ye beti won so ni a ya dada for a woman obe koso no wa mwa ba won so e ban so be fam wong e tin tim na ye ye we ny na ne kuma pemuno and no nya me be mi ye no nyam shen na atre na asre na ada and you be a in a year no onion and now so now when you say and could me dear and it was our bra yeah now so if he was so me are you only there to so a new air couple so many so I do a dear son or a whole and I say and Kenya Brie and I'm so a bear as a patre and in she and my horror the and I'm so actually a crown of baby about a vaccine and we know praise the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah Finally, I am on my covenant highway of life. Brethren, it's now time for us to worship the Lord with our offerings. Praise the Lord. His word, said, His word said nobody should appear before him without an offering. Praise the Lord. So quickly package your offerings, your tithes, any other kingdom vows. Quickly package them. And as you package them, listen to a word of wisdom 
from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, which reads, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Praise the Lord. Amen. With this understanding, shall we rise up on our feet with our offerings, lift them up unto the Lord, water your seeds with the breath of your prayers. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we appreciate you. You alone, you are worthy of our praise. You are God. What have we received that you have not given to us? The very breath of life in our nostrils. We acknowledge you for these seeds in our hands. Lord, we present them unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Lift your hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commit these seeds into your hands. Let them be sweet, smelly, savor unto thee. And may the hands lifted this morning never know lack and want again. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Kindly take your seeds and joyfully cast your seeds with joy. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. May we invite the choir. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. 
唱破，我要被唱破。就马快 ready a be， 要莫阿管是不能拿多少我。Thank you, Jesus. Just lift him now. Lift up your hands for him. Just worship him. Give him all the glory and honor. What a privilege to be alive and well. To see the first Sunday in the sixth month of this year, 2023. Has God been good to you? Do I have a witness in the house? Is somebody grateful to God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank him also for what he said to do this month and in this service. Every barrier between you and your blessings shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Is somebody praying to God, asking for your own encounter? Thank you, Jesus. Take all the praise. Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. From Habakkuk 3.2, the Bible makes it clear that the midst of the year is a season of revival. It's a time of revival. Glory to God. The year is made up of 12 months. And Arithmetically or mathematically speaking, where you want to find the median of an even number, you take the nah, two middle. Sir, Is that not so? Yes, Praise God. Hallelujah. So the sixth and seventh month together form the midst of the year. And Habakkuk 3 2 says, In the midst of the year, revive thy work. Oh, Kenya, oh, Unuma. Three, two. Praise God. Hallelujah. Revive what? Thy work. Kenya, Unuma. Now, thy work Master. there is not just talking about, is not firstly talking about the works of God. You and I, we are the first work of God. Do you agree? Are you hearing me now? It is God reviving his people so that they can do his work. Glory to God. The work there is not just talking about the assignment, the project of winning souls. It is only those who are alive that can win others. Therefore, this season shall be your season of revival. In the name of Jesus Christ. To be revived spiritually is to be on top. Is somebody hearing me now? I don't know whether some of us who, if you have been spiritually fervent before, and you experience some slow motion sometimes. Are you hearing me now? You discover that 
monkeys, <laughs> witches and wizards, <laughs> all manner of harassment in your sleep. Are you hearing me now? You start seeing certain things, they are proof that your spiritual life is going down. Some of us must have experienced that before. Nobody was born perfect. That is even spiritually. We grow. We grow and develop spiritually. But when you are on fire, no devil comes near. Are you hearing me now? Because when rice is hot, no fly go near. They lose their wings. If they go near, they will lose their wings and be burnt. But when rice is cold, are you hearing me now? All manner of fly, green fly, yellow fly, sesame fly, fly, house fly, they can perch on the food and even lay eggs on it. Glory to God. Satan has laid head on, on eggs on many destinies because they have lost their fire. But for you, in the name of Jesus Christ, your, the fire of the Holy Ghost shall be rekindled in your life. In this season of revival, beginning from this service, in the name of Jesus Christ, and your fire will never go out again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it possible? Yes! Our Father and the Lord has been born again for 54 years this year. This year made it how many years? 54. Never come back once. Praise the living Jesus. Next month, we make my own small journey to be 19 years. Amen. 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 That I finally surrender to him. And I have never needed to look back. There is even no attraction to looking back. Praise God. Is somebody hearing me now? Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I see you coming on fire and remaining on fire by your encounters in this midst of the year season. Both from this altar and from your personal devotion time in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you like to speak to God? Lord, revive me again. Revive me again. Revive me again. Revive me again. In this season of revival, let me remain on fire so that I may remain on top. Maria Kataba Yandere Bozia Koka Tokate. To be out of fire is to be molested. You will never see molestation again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every harassment of witches and wizards, spirit husband, spirit wife, eating the dream, harassment of the devil around your life is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray right now for your own encounter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yeah, that's it. Take all the praise, Lord. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In this season of revival, yes, in Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. This shall be your best season so far. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please be seated. Glory to God. The prophetic focus of this month as declared from Wednesday is a season of glory. Can we echo it together? A season of glory. Anchored of Daniel 12, 3. As we become revived, and we do the work of the Lord. We are transformed. We are changed. As we turn many to righteousness, we shine as stars forever. God's glory shall be seen upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, your light will never be down. Your life will never be out. In the name of Jesus Christ. From the first service, 
We began looking at the series. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. This is part 1C. A revival is a move of the Spirit of God. And every move of the Spirit of God turns his house, the church, to a solution center, thereby attracting multitude. Every move of God turns the house of God to a solution center, thereby attracting multitude to church. So, when you hear the testimonies that we hear, Daniel said, it is not in me. Now, Daniel can say, in me, Glory to God. No man can perform any miracle or wonder. You can't even hear yourself, not talk of somebody else. Praise God. Hallelujah. They are all the act of God. And to him alone be all the glory forever. Obadiah 17 said, Upon Mount Zion, there shall be what? Deliverance and holiness and God's people shall possess their possession. Glory to God. God has ordained revival to be the order of the day for the end time church. Amen. Amen. Zechariah 8, 20-23. to 23. It shall come to pass in the last days. 20 to 23. Zechariah 8, 20 to 23. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes. Now he said, It shall come to pass that there shall come people and inhabitants of many cities. And the inhabitants of one city shall say to another, let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. He said, I will go also. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Are we together? He said, it shall come to pass in those days, ten men shall take hold out of the languages of all the nations. Even that shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The time of revival is the time when God is in the midst of his people, doing his wonders, changing stories of people, thereby attracting more many more into the kingdom. Therefore, this season, you are already in Zion, is that not so? Your story must change. God is advancing you on every side. God is moving you forward on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, what is a revival? We have we, have, we will be defining revival all through the weeks of this month. What is a revival? Number one, a revival is a platform for divine visitation ordained for our supernatural change of story. A revival is a platform for divine visitation ordained for a supernatural change of story. Habakkuk 3.2 In the midst of the year, O oh Lord, revive thy work. And then verse 6. All the everlasting hills they bow. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. 
everlasting mountain and perpetual hills. They are scattered. That is long standing challenges. Every issue of your life that will not let go. In this season of revival, they shall be scattered. The Lord will stop them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a time of what? Divine visitation for supernatural change of story. Number two. What is a revival? A revival is a spiritual awakening that causes the giant in us to rise. It's a spiritual awakening. Like we saw in Ezekiel 37. The, the valley of dry bones. Where the giants emerge. Their emerge from that valley of very dry bones. And the Bible says an exceeding great army. Giant just came out of that valley. Why? By the breath of the Spirit. By what? The breath of the Spirit. The Spirit of God, or the hand of God was upon the prophet. And then he prophesied over that plain. Praise God. Over that valley. And bones came to bones. Flesh came upon the bones. Sinews laid upon them. And breath came. And the army stood. And rose. This season, the giant in you must emerge. All those pursuing you in the dream is over. Are you hearing me now? <clears throat> Can I tell you something? If you walk in the light, whether you are asleep or awake, all you see is dominion and victory. Is somebody hearing me now? Just walk in the light. Walk in the light. When you start seeing defeat, even when you are sleeping, then know something is wrong. Stand up spiritually. Are you hearing me now? And take your position. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Because a lion is a lion. Even when he's sleeping. Glory to God. Even when lions are sleeping, other animals, they warn themselves. I saw one lion there. Amen. He's, though he's sleeping. But don't go near. Don't go near the territory. You will be a terror to your adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ. Terror to your adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's why, we, you see, we are in a revival. We are in a season of revival. As a commission. And by grace, our local assembly here is a partaker of that revival. Are you excited? Praise the living Jesus. For example, I'm still shocked by the response of God's people to the prayer platform. That can only be a proof of great revival and spiritual awakening. Praying kingdom advancement prayers. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. And we have well over 400 people on that platform now. Praying. Log in. Clock in. Clock in out. Friday night, we came for the third day of the week of spiritual emphasis. In those three days, each service we pray six prayer points. Now, getting home, after some little time, people have clocking. <laughs> People I saw in uh, oh, the service, no. mm, no, families, mm. some clocking, you can clock no, in as an individual, no, you can clock in as husband no, and wife, no, husband no, take first prayer point, wife take second prayer point, no, wife take third prayer point, no, take fourth prayer point, take, because no, when you even have partnership, it makes it to be sweeter. No, Are you hearing me now? And an instruction came, put your phone on flight mode. Because, you know, 
distraction can be so much on phone. Oh, sometimes so what we are trying to do is we are taking advantage of tec technology to serve God. But they are distraction. But those distractions, there is answer to them if you are sincere. Is somebody hearing me now? Just put it on. Don't if you silence it. What, uh, the thing will still be beeping. Uh, so call will come in. Uh, Test message will come in. Uh, Is somebody hearing now? And you are using your phone. Because uh, the prayer points are there. Uh, are we together? But what you do is put it on airplane mode. Uh, you have uh, jammed the network. Uh, Nothing uh, can uh, come uh, in uh, until when you are ready. Uh, so one hour, you have invested. Praise God. Hallelujah. And there is joy in your heart. Because you are doing the will of your father. Just one hour in every 24 hours. One hour a day. Cheap. Very cheap. And it's a great investment with God. Are you hearing me now? Matthew 6. He said your father that said in the secret shall reward you what? But when thou prayed, enter into thy closet. Hmm? Go back to six. Enter into your closet and shut your door and pray. And the Father we see in secret will reward you openly. Do you know why you are required to clock in and clock out? It is to extract commitment from us. Is somebody hearing now? Without sitting as okay, because that platform is a covenant platform. It's like being in church. That platform is prayer room. Is what? That's why nobody is permitted to post anything there except to clock in and to clock out. No matter how urgent information, if it is church information, Get across to the admins. We will check, we will screen it and put it there. It's prayer room. We don't want the place to be littered. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing now? Now all that are happening there are proof that people are revived. And in the name of Jesus Christ, your fire will never go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, what are the proofs of a revival? Proof of a revival. Number one. When the heart of men begin to pant after God. And the interest of his kingdom. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. Seeking God first becomes a delight. Psalm 42, 1 and 2. As the deer panted for the water brooks, so, panted my soul after the old God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I appear before him? Praise God. Hallelujah. When our heart begins to pant after God, unendingly, it means you are in revival. Is somebody hearing me now? But when God doesn't matter, you spend the whole day. Your Bible does not come near you. Scriptures don't come to your mind. You don't think of seeking him. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. But, but that will not be you again. Forever. Say me, man. I don't know whether you like spiritual things. Though. Do you like spiritual things? You better like them. <laughs> If it is well with you spiritually, it will be well with you in every area. When you miss it spiritually, all that things break down. You struggle so much. That's why the first breakthrough any believer should seek always is spiritual breakthrough. To be able to walk with God continually. Seeking Him and serving Him. And carrying Him. Such a destiny cannot be limited. 
no power anywhere can hinder such a destiny. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree this season as your season of spiritual breakthrough, culminating in your all-round breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never struggle to pray again. You will never struggle to study the word again. You will never struggle to appear in Zion again. Zion will be a delight to you. Number two, when walking in the fear of God becomes our new way of life. Walking in the fear of God becomes our new way of life. Jeremiah 32, 39 to 40. Hmm. See what God said. Jeremiah 32, 39 to 40. He said, I will put my fear in them. I will give them one heart and one way. Tell me one way. One way. You know, men that fear God, you bring any evil suggestion to them, they react. They spark. It's one way. Tell me one way. I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me for uh, how long? Forever. For their good. And the good of their children after them. Mm. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from them to do them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me. Like Joseph. Sir, we don't, up to today, we don't know who was Joseph's pastor. He was sold into slavery. He never lost the fire, sir. He never lost the fire. In Potiphar's house, these are not days. These are not days old. He was sold at age 17. So, in Potiphar's house, and he got to the throne at 8.30. So, both in Potiphar's house and the prison, everything is 13 years. And he remained on fire. He didn't lose his life. He had the fear of God. How can I do this evil and sin against God? Genesis 39.9. He told the brethren, because you know they offended him, sold him. He had opportunity to revenge. He said, no. Do this and live. For I fear God. I know you people didn't fear God. That's why you traded with my destiny. But for me, I fear God. 4218. May the fear of God consume every one of us afresh. Brethren, without fear of God, your life and my life has no security. The fear of God is the security of our destiny. Psalm 112. He said, praise you the Lord. Bless is the name. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His righteousness endured forever. Then verse 9. The wicked will see it. Amen. Amen. Last verse, go to last verse. Verse 10. The wicked shall see it and be grieved and gnash with his teeth. They will see him that he's so blessed. They will be envious of him. They will gnash with their teeth. They want to hurt him. But he said, their desire shall perish. He said, all of them shall melt away. Praise God. Hallelujah. Forget it. The power that can stop any man that genuinely walks in the fear of God is not born. When you see them, just run, leave them. You can do some things just to delay. Like Joseph now. Sold him to slavery, 
All those things. They eventually transported him to the throne. Is that not so? Eh? All his fa the father's children could have together. He found himself as a slave. Is that not so? Then from slavery, that woman too cast her eyes on him. Potiphar's wife. Are you hearing me now? That landed him in the prison. But from there, straight to the throne. And Joseph reigned for 80 years. 80. He used 13 years for all those preparations. And he reigned for 80 years. Yes, Job was challenged. Yes. Glory to God. But after all those challenges, Job lived for 140 years. And God gave him double of what he had before. And before, he was the greatest. He was the greatest at that time. Before. Now, God gave him double. Righteousness pays. Glory to God. Fear of God does not draw people down. Don't let any devil deceive you. It, it beautifies destiny. It secures destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, your destiny shall not be cut short. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said your destiny shall not be cut short. Now, quickly, what is in the revival for us? That is blessedness of a revival. Number one, what is in the revival for us? A revival, every revival is a spiritual launching pad to our high places. Say me spiritual launching pad to our high places. We are charged to take charge. We are charged to do what? Take charge. You know, as long as Joseph remained charged, in Potiphar's house, they handed over to him. Do you know that? Do you know that? In the prison, they handed over to him. He was in charge. Glory to God. Habakkuk 3.2. In the midst of the year, revive thy work. Then verse 19. Verse 19. Because they are revived, they begin to ride upon their high places. High places. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No wonder the Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach. Ananias and Sapphira were cut down. Because of sin. Joseph was lifted. Job was lifted. He said, curse God and die. He said, no. Never. Even if he slain me, I will yet serve him. That's what Job said. Can somebody who is slain serve? <laughs> Amen. Uh, because the Bible says love is as strong as death. Songs 8.6. Love is as what? Strong as death. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are taking your place right now in your high places of life. You will never be found in the low places again. Number two, supernatural restoration of our redemptive dignity. We are redeemed to reign. We are not redeemed to be under dogs anymore. Revelation 5.10, he has redeemed us, he has raised us as king and priest. And we are to reign on earth. But you see, only people who are revived can reign. They are the ones that can take their place. All retired civil servants here or public workers. You know, when you were in power, you were still in the office, you reign. Is that not so? All the things that belong to you, they come to you without any challenge. 
Amen. Amen. But when you leave the place, some people who are far, far your junior, you have to be calling them now to get certain things done in that place. That's how it is. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, but there's somebody who doesn't feel it. Even president of nations. Amen. Even president of nations. He experienced it. Amen. Amen. So when you're out of power, you're out of relevance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing now? You lose your redemptive relevance. But the good news is this one is not uh, like elective positions and career jobs. You can remain in power for life and reign for life. And in the name of Jesus Christ, you will reign for life. Our father Bishop Odeko is born again now for 54 years. Yeah, Papa. How many years? 54, 54 years. 54 years. So, that's where we belong. Amen. Amen. Your light will never come down. Your light will never go down. Your light will never become team. Your light will never go out. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Joel chapter 2. 23 to 27. The prophet of Joel. The prophet Joel. Who, who prophesied. Praise the living Jesus. About the outpouring of the spirit of God. Upon the people. For transformation. Then in verse 25. He said, he will restore to you the years the locust has eaten. The canker worm, caterpillar, pharma worm, his great army that God sent to them. God permitted those things to ravage them because they were, they left God. He said, but I will restore. Tell me restore, Lord. And you eat in plenty. And praise the name of the Lord your God. That is death wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in your midst. And that I am the Lord your God. And there is none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Every shame and reproach in your life. I see them turning to glory in this midst of the year, beginning from this month and beginning from this service in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, what is in a revival for us? Express answer to prayers. Say me, express answer to prayers. Because in time of revival, God is closest God is what? Closest. James 4, 8. Draw near unto me, and I will draw near unto you, say the Lord. Amen. Amen. He is closest so he can easily hear our prayers. And in time of revival, also, it's time when we engage for God. Make it to be very easy for him to grant our request. Because it's time of taking responsibility as covenant children of God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. John 15, 16. Jesus said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I have ordained you to go forth and bring fruit and that your fruit should remain so that whatsoever you ask the father in my name he may give it to you that is to say this is the platform that gives you opportunity to ask God anything and he will answer you you can, you can add Matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be what? Added unto you. For your heavenly father knows that you have the need of those things. You do his own. And he will add them to you. 
If you see any delay, ask him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ask him. From now, in this season of revival, every prayer you hear, you pray, because of your covenant positioning with God, God will hear you. And God will answer you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you know, if you are in a position to pray and get answer, you are not an ordinary person. You are a powerful man. You are a powerful woman. Like Daniel. Who said, give us time. King, don't bother about this matter. Just give oh, us time. Amen. Amen. Somebody is hearing me now. From now, all challenges of life that may come your way, as you talk to God about them, you will convert them cheaply to testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm amazed at the answer prayers on this mountain. I'm amazed in God. Glory to God. Is somebody here now? But it is because those prayers are rooted in advancing his people. His kingdom. Is somebody here now? Because he said, call upon me and I would answer you. How many of us believe God still answer prayer today? I see those hard desires of yours. Turn to answers. Turn to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hand to him now. Just appreciate him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, today is our breaking invisible barrier service. Thank you, Jesus. Invisible barriers are real. Say with me, they are real. Invisible barriers are what? Not all the, the challenges facing us are natural or physical. I love uh, Roger Jeremiah's testimony. Where is he? Where did he go? <laughs> Brother Jeremiah, praise God. <laughs> now, he learned all those testimonies are just proof of that I know I'm no longer an ordinary person. <laughs> are you hearing me now? <laughs> I'm redeemed to be a wonder to my world. <laughs> so, that the tire was carrying either nails or are you hearing me? And it became a repairer of tire. Every time. He said, no, this is not normal. Are you hearing me now? Glory to God. That's how people like us react. You don't take things as... Praise God. See every aspect of that, those testimonies. They are simply you refusing to agree that you are now, or you are still an ordinary woman. Is somebody hearing me now? Glory to God. You have a picture of who you are in Christ. You know, these things are not ordinary, so we deal with them. If they are invisible barrier, you clear them off. Now, can I tell you something, brethren? Many believers live as if the devil and his cohort and demons and the enemies are not real. May you not be a victim. Are you hearing me now? The Bible makes us know clearly that they are there. Eh? Isaiah 54, 14 to 17. In righteousness shall thou be established. And thou shall be far from oppression. For thou shall not fear. And from terror, for it shall not come near thee. But behold, they shall surely gather together. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather against you shall fall for yourself. Is somebody hearing now? Understand that they are there. Then understand your dominion. And take your place in Christ. And keep dealing with them. Is somebody hearing now? Every day you clear the barriers. Every day. Every day. Every day. You know, even Satan, even Jesus. Yes, Satan came to him in Matthew 4. Read that place. To try him, to test him. 
And he liveth him for it a while. Not forever. After all, did this he left? Not that he didn't come back again. Because the Bible says he was tempted at all points. Is somebody hearing now? But yet without sin. Glory to God. By redemption, you have been made a master over the devil. Because you are in Christ. Is Christ master over all demons? Is he master over the devil? They all know. May you identify with Christ fully. By revelation. By insight. May you take your place. In the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. But don't be ignorant of the existence of the adversaries and their works. You know, Moses was negotiating for the release of the Israelites. Are you hearing me now? And it looked like a diplomatic thing. Let my people go, I will not let them go. Let my people go, I will not let them go. Praise God. Hallelujah. But God said, I know where the problem is. Exodus 12, 12. I will come down and I will descend upon all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment upon them. So those were the forces manipulating Pharaoh. Is somebody hearing me now? Spiritual forces behind the scene. In the name of Jesus Christ, by your covenant positioning in Christ, I see every barrier before you cleared right now. I see every barrier before you destroy right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, a great and effectual door is open unto me, but there are what? Many adversaries. How many of them? Many adversaries. Glory to God. So you stand to clear them off. That's why we are here. Just like Satan specializes in hindering people. Jesus specializes in making his people move forward. Are you hearing me now? Because he came to destroy the works of the devil. First John 3.8 Satan came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came to destroy all the works of the devil. And he's alive. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I said Jesus is alive. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And therefore in the name of Jesus Christ, I confront every force confronting you. Every barrier confronting your life and destiny. I decree their fall and destruction right now. In the name of the resurrected Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. every barrier standing between you and your testimonies, they are crushed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. They are utterly destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you taking your place in dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, what are the keys? Very quickly. Keys to crushing or breaking invisible barriers. What are the keys? Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Number one, be born again. Thereby becoming a child of light. Be born again. Thereby becoming what? A child of light. Amen. Amen. You can't overcome forces of darkness except you are born of God. First John 5, 4. Everyone that is born of God overcome this world. And this is the victory that overcome the 